we'd walk right up to heaven and bring you back again. It broke our hearts to lose you, but you did not go alone. For part of us went with you the day God called you home. God looked around his garden and he found an empty place. Then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face. He put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest. God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best. Yes, he always takes the best. We knew that you were suffering. We knew you were in pain. We knew you earth again so he closed your weary eyes and he whispered peace be thine then he took you up to heaven so gentle and so kind God looked around his garden and he found an empty place then he looked down upon the earth and saw your precious face he put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest god's god must be beautiful he always takes the best oh god's god must be beautiful he always takes the best go alone for part of us went with you the day God called you home God looked around his garden and he found an empty place and he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face he put his arms around and he lifted you to rest. God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best. Yes, he always takes the best. We knew that you were suffering. We knew you were in pain. We knew you earth again so he closed your weary eyes and he whispered peace be thine then he took you up to heaven so gentle and so kind God looked around his garden and he found an empty place then he looked down upon the earth and saw your precious face he put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest god's god must be beautiful he always takes the best oh god's god must be beautiful he always takes the best could 
build a stairway and memories a lane we'd walk right up to heaven and bring you back again it broke our hearts to lose you but you did not go alone for part of us went with you the day God called you God looked around his garden and he found an empty place and he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face he put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest God's garden must be beautiful he always takes the best yeah always takes the best We knew that you were suffering We knew you were in pain We knew you'd never get well on this earth again So he closed your weary eyes and he whispered peace be thine then he took you up to heaven, so gentle and so kind. God looked around his garden, and he found an empty place. Then he looked down upon the earth, and he saw your precious face. He put his arms around you, and he lifted you to rest God's garden must be beautiful He always takes the best Oh, God's garden must be beautiful He always takes the best go alone for part of us went with you the day God called you home God looked around his garden and he found an empty place and he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face he put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest God's garden must be beautiful He always takes the best Yes, he always takes the best We knew that you were suffering We knew you were in pain We knew you'd never get well on this earth again so he closed your weary eyes and he whispered peace be thine then he took you up to heaven so gentle and so kind God looked around his garden and he found an empty place then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face he put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest god's garden must be beautiful he always takes the best oh god's garden must be beautiful 
He always takes the best
down upon the earth and he saw your precious face. He put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest. God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best. Oh, God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best. suffering. We knew you were in pain. We knew you'd never get well on this earth again. 
So he closed your weary eyes and he whispered, Peace be thine. Then he took you up to heaven, so gentle and so kind. God looked around his garden and he found an empty place. Then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face. He put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest. God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best. Oh, God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best If tears could build a stairway and memories We'd walk right up to heaven and bring you back again. It broke our hearts to lose you, but you did not go alone. For part of us went with you the day God called you home. God looked around his garden and he found an empty place. Then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face. He put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest. God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best. Yes, he always takes the best. suffering. We knew you were in pain. We knew you'd never get well on this earth again. So he closed your weary eyes. Hallelujah. And Hallelujah. Whispered, Peace be thine. Then he took you up to heaven. So gentle and so God looked around his garden and he found an empty place. Then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face. He put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest. God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best. Oh, God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best. could build a stairway and memories a lane we'd walk right up to heaven and bring you back again it broke our hearts to lose you but you did not go alone for part of us went with you the day God called you God looked around his garden and he found an empty place. Then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face. He put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest. God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best. 
Yes, he always takes the best. We knew that you were suffering. We knew you were in pain. We knew you'd never get well on this earth again. So he closed your weary eyes and he whispered, Peace be thy Watching and listening. Then he took you Power Chapel Worldwide from the Power Cathedral. So that is Power Chapel Worldwide, Power Cathedral, Esuyabwa, IPT Junction. And it's about the final God funeral rites of Apostle Emmanuel Atta Adade. The atmosphere is something that you just have to be here to witness for yourself. So so sorrowful, saddening, and teary as people are wailing and we all are mourning the gallant soldier of Christ. He has been laid in states at the four courts of Power Chapel Worldwide, Power Cathedral. If you are close by, kindly come and just take a look of our man of God as we pay our final homage to him. Right from here, which I take him to the auditorium as we will have our final burial service for him. And then we will go to Cronum for his burial. In the afternoon from 12 noon, we shall all converge at Beposo Quadaso School Park as we give him our final right to him. He was everything that we can have in a pastor in an apostle and in a man of God. A lot are being said about him as people cry through it. Do join us in the afternoon from 12 noon at Beposo Quadaso School Park as we give our final respects to our pastor, to our teacher, to our prophet, to an apostle, Apostle Emmanuel Atta Adade. But as I just said, that if you are close by, he has been laid in states. You can come around and have a look and let's give him our respect. He deserves it. It is due him. So we shall be expecting you to stay close if you are not close here or nearby for all that we will do at the funeral grounds. From here to the funeral grounds shall be streamed live on Facebook. And on YouTube. We knew you never get on this earth again. So he closed your weary eyes and he whispered, Peace be thine. Then he took you up to heaven, so gentle and so kind. God looked around his garden and he found an empty place. Then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face. He put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest. God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best. Oh, God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the
found an empty place and he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face he put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest god's garden must be beautiful he always takes the best yes he always takes the best suffering. We knew you were in pain. We knew you'd never get well on this earth again. So he closed your weary eyes and he whispered, peace be thine. Then he took you up to heaven, so gentle and so kind. God looked around his garden and he found an empty place. Then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face. He put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest. God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best. Oh, God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best. go alone for part of us went with you the day God called you home God looked around his garden and he found an empty place then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face he put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest God's garden must be beautiful He always takes the best Yes, he always takes the best We knew that you were suffering We knew you were in pain We knew you'd never get well on this earth again so he closed your weary eyes and he whispered peace be thine then he took you up to heaven so gentle and so kind God looked around his garden and he found an empty place then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face. He put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest. God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best. Oh, God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best If tears could build a stairway and memories 
we'd walk right up to heaven and bring you back again. It broke our hearts to lose you, but you did not go alone. For part of us went with you the day God called you home. God looked around his garden and he found an empty place. Then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face. He put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest. God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best. Yes, he always takes the best. We knew that you were suffering. We knew you were in pain. We knew you get well on this earth again so he closed your weary eyes and he whispered peace be thine then he took you up to heaven so gentle and so kind God looked around his garden and he found an empty place then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face. He put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest. God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best. Oh, God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best If tears could build a stairway and memory We'd walk right up to heaven and bring you back again. It broke our hearts to lose you, but you did not go alone. For part of us went with you the day God called you home. God looked around his garden and he found an empty place Then he looked down upon the earth And he saw your precious face He put his arms around you And he lifted you to I have with me here Apostle Ekwo Bikin Kusibwaten Apostle, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the death of Apostle Imano Atadade. We would like to know your relationship that you had with him. Uh, he was a more than a father. Among all the men of God that are around my father, Prophet Victor He's that's that's the particular, that's particular one I call my uncle. He received me in 2016, signs and tokens, where he encouraged me so much. And from there, we had a, really, a very tight relationship. And uh, he's one of the uncles that I have in the faith that has never ceased checking on me, calling me, how are the children, no matter the tight schedule, he always makes sure he checked on us. Unfortunately, uh, we're with Papa in Zimbabwe. For the Easter, when the news came in, it's, uh, it's horrible. So, so when the news came, came to you, how, 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 how was, was the feeling? How did you take it? Well, at, uh, at a go, it would be like, uh, it's not true. It was like, uh, it was a joke. I was at the airport filling forms for formality. And all of a sudden, I was called and said, 
your father is no more. With that voice that my father used to say, your father is no more, I can still say, me hear it in me that it's a dream. That I, I, the first thing I did, I, like I wrote on my statue, I said, I believe he will rise up with Jesus on Easter day, that we are here seeing him laying in state. It's a difficult one to choose. It's indeed a difficult one to say and to choose to say to everybody. But Apostle, I would like to know, with all that is happening, how is your view and how do you see life and its complexity with the person of Apostle? What is, it was so sudden and so untimely for all of us. But generally, how do you now see life and its complexity? Well, all in all, in one word, life, uh, I look at it in the viewpoint of rapture. The Bible says, in the twinkle of an eye, that is what happened. Because when I look by the grace of God, I was privileged to be around him from September last, last year. I was with him in Atobuase for almost three to four months. And uh, when I looked at the project we had together, what we were sharing together, and even we were we, supposed to meet after Easter to do some one or two preparations, so life, I think we should be conscious of how we live our life in the bit. We should focus on, 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 on the word. We should focus on God and allow God do everything for us. After all, he has the final say. After all, he has the final say. Apostle, we'd like you to give your final words to their family, to their church, and to your father, Prophet Tokusibuati. Yes, I want to plead with my brothers at Zion. It is a time we should hold on with tenacity. It is a time we should, we, should, we should preserve this legacy that our uncle, our father has put in place for us. It is a path we all have to follow. So my prayer for the family is that Mama Mercy, the children, all of us, we need to be strong because in his place, if he was there, he will do the same. He will want us to stand and make sure that we follow everything. So let everyone around him, mostly the church, I pray that we should be together. There are mantles. The fathers, when they go, they don't go with mantles. I know somebody carried the mantle, and it's going to be a replication. I'm just shaking. I'm just shivering. It is a difficult time for us all. We thank you so much, Apostle. And I know that your uncle also appreciates all that you did for him. And even now, thank you so much. Thank you. right up to heaven and bring you back again it broke our hearts to lose you but you did not go alone for part of us went with you the day God called you home God looked around his garden and he found an empty place down upon the earth and he saw your precious face he put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest God's garden must be beautiful he always takes the best yes he always takes the best suffering we knew you were in pain we knew you'd never get well on this earth again so he closed your weary eyes and he whispered peace be thine then he took you up to heaven so gentle and so kind God looked around his garden and he found an empty place. Then he looked down upon the earth and he 
saw your precious face He put his arms around you And he lifted you to rest God's garden must be beautiful He always takes the best Oh, God's garden must be beautiful He always takes the best earth again so he closed your weary eyes and he whispered peace be thine then he took you up to heaven so gentle and so kind God looked around his garden and he found an empty place then he looked down upon the earth saw your precious face he put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest god's god must be beautiful he always takes the best oh god's god must be beautiful he always takes the best If tears 
years could build a stairway and memories a lane. We'd walk right up to heaven and bring you back again. It broke our hearts to lose you, but you did not go alone. For part of us went with you the day God called you. God looked around his garden and he found an empty place. Then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face. He put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest. God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best. Yes. He always takes the best. We knew that you were suffering. We knew you were in pain. We knew you would never get well on this earth again. So he closed your weary eyes and he whispered, Peace be thine. Then he took you up to heaven, so gentle and so kind. God looked around his garden, and he found an empty place. Then he looked down upon the earth, and he saw your precious face. He put his arms around you, and he lifted you. God's garden must be beautiful, he always takes the best. Oh, God's garden must be beautiful, he always takes the best. God's garden must be beautiful. 
He always takes the best. If tears could build a stairway memories a lane we'd walk right up to heaven and bring you back again it broke our hearts to lose you but you did not go alone for part of us went with you the day God called you home God looked around his garden he found an empty place Then he looked down upon the earth And he saw your precious face He put his arms around you And he lifted you to rest God's garden must be beautiful He always takes the best Yes, he always takes the best suffering. We knew you were in pain. We knew you'd never get well on this earth again. So he closed your weary eyes and he whispered, peace be thine. Then he took you up to heaven, so gentle and so kind. God looked around his garden and he found an empty place. Then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face. He put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest. God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best. Oh, God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best. could build a stairway and memories a lane we'd walk right up to heaven and bring you back again it broke our hearts to lose you but you did not go alone for part of us went with you the day God called you God looked around his garden and he found an empty place. Then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face. He put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest. God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best. Yes, he always takes the best. We knew that you were suffering. We knew you were in pain. We knew you'd never get well on this earth again. So he closed your weary eyes and he whispered, peace be thine. Then he took you up to heaven, so gentle and so kind. God looked around his garden. What do you name sent me? Name penny face on can be bathed in a drum be seen. I ne 
Yakitani shrimp friend, it is a dear summer will catch her. Mamma, when I'm from the air, ya, a dear mecatcher, ya, mamma, mercy, they say, O Yame and Shenadin, a mecatcher, and we are no ma, and to say, Yamin show more day. Now, dear son, O Kano, eh, ya, say a share, baby, I am mamma, ya, grandma, a dua, and guess a papa, mommy, be seen, there's a grandma, no, a tear, see, see, papa, and the air, ya, but the minimum say. Or doctor see a papa na be ye ni dia kire wi ase no se nya men so e bere so na o ton sa fra grandma ma me nim se ye be sie sie ne kama kama pa ye be sie ne kama pa ye da se na ne kwa kwa wa kire akwan wudin se nya ye di be hu ye fra me apostle felix amwa kwa jiman me wo bo ase peculiar family chapel ha na papa no na ye me spiritual father eh of the met na montete ye mo ne o tenet na me ne ade ba I talk for me, fat. I see it. I can I can I can see it. I can I can I can see I can I can see it. Ye nim se rade ebe ye or no any any da so na ye share a bujenya pape budia ka ye ni padi ye ntiasye nan so ye di nini na emwa seda ama o ba de onwa ebe kra kra ye ye da masi. Yes, he always takes the best. Suffering, we knew you were in pain. We knew you'd never get well on this earth again. So he closed your weary eyes and he whispered, Peace be thine. Then he took you up to heaven, so gentle and so kind. God looked around his garden and he found an empty place. Then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face. He put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest. God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best. Oh, God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best. go alone for part of us went with you the day God called you home God looked around his garden and he found an empty place then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face he put his arms around and he lifted you to rest God's garden must be beautiful He always takes the best Yes, he always takes the best We knew that you were suffering We knew you were in pain We knew you'd never get well on this earth again. So
So he closed your weary eyes and he whispered, Peace be thine. Then he took you up to heaven, so gentle and so kind. God looked around his garden and he found an empty place. Then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face. He put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest. God's God must be beautiful. I never call him apostle, I call him pastor. What's the best I have? He's not a, I'm not a church member. For him, I was a brother, wow. a family. Any time, doesn't matter what, I can contact him. Doesn't matter what time, it can be midnight. Wow. For me, he was a special person. For me, it's the same I lost somebody from my family. That, that's... That's really, that's really, that's really, really touching. Um, when you re received the news of the Apostles' demise, how did you feel? You know, I was in Accra before I um, fly out to Portugal. And that day, my wife it told me, hey, your dad, your dad is, your dad is not a pastor. Your dad is dead. I said, no, it can't be. And I tried to phone for me, it was, a shock because I never believe, you know, he, I never see him sick. I never see him uh, in trouble on the health. And uh, to get a news like that, your dad is dead, hey, for me was too much. And I try to speak to his wife and she confirmed. For me, I cry because it, It's indeed a sorrowful moment for all of us. Um, please, what are your last words for his wife and his children and his church? Uh, sorry, can you repeat again? Uh, your last words for his wife, his children, and then his church. Like I say, I was not a member of the church. I was a family for them. Wow. For the wife, until now. For the children, I, was, uh, I go to his house anytime I need it. Any time I am in trouble or not in trouble, he received me like as a family. For me, it was my family, the relationship I have with them. Thank you, Daddy, for having this interview with us. God bless you. Thank you. So we are still at the burial of the, um, of the Apostle Emmanuel Atta Adade. Apostle Emmanuel Atta Adade. And um, we we'll proceed from there to the auditorium for his memorial service. And afterwards, we we'll go to the Kronom Abwehya to go and bury him. Then at 12 noon, we we'll be at the Kwada Sobe Apostle school, school Park to go and have the final funeral rites. He always takes the best. If tears could build a stairway Memories are lame We'd walk right up to heaven And bring you back again It broke our hearts to lose you But you did not go alone For part of us went with you The day God called you home God looked around his garden and he found an empty place Then he looked down upon the earth And he saw your and, uh, precious we just want to ask how you felt he put his When you had the news around the of our And he lifted you to Devastated, devastated um, For want of a better word, devastated 
Um, at that time, we were in uh, Zimbabwe with Papa. And then when we heard the news, um, <clears throat> I'm not sure I can get words to explain the atmosphere at that time. Personally, I've, I've, I've known Apostle Adadi personally. I remember about four years ago, um, when I went to him to see him uh, together with Papa, to go and dedicate my house. The, the, the gladness, the warmth with which he willingly went to dedicate the house, I, 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 I was amazed. In fact, the whole family was amazed how devoted this man was. And what more can I say? We had a personal relationship, just to put it mildly. So when we heard the news, it was devastating, very devastating. And up to now, it is. Today is the final funeral rise. But let me tell you a secret. I've not even been able to gather the courage to go and look at him. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's devastating indeed. Yeah. Devastating. Wow. And um, um, your last words for his family, I mean his children, his wife, even Gloria Zion Missions International, what would be your last words for them as we lay him in state and bury him today? Uh, my last words, I don't know whether they are last words because... I, for us Christians, we believe we go to sleep. So probably we, we could be speaking or I could be telling him something from time to time. But on this, at, on a day like this, what, what can I say? Than to say farewell to Apostle, that his impact shall live on. Uh, for me, for my family, for all of us as a church, we are grateful for his dedication, his time, and then the impact he's had on life. I remember his last message that life is a learning process. Yeah, Apostle, God bless you wherever you are. To the remaining family and all to all of us, to Gloria Zion, to Power Chapel, I want to say that may God strengthen us. May God strengthen us. For us as Christians, that is the only consolation we have. That we believe that he's gone into sleep. And then as Jesus did tell Martha, that on the day of the resurrection we shall meet again. So, um, Apostle, fare thee well. You've imparted life. You are now with your maker. Rest well till we meet again. God bless you. Indeed, till we meet again. This is. He always takes the best. Yes, he always takes the best. suffering we knew you were in pain we knew you'd never get well on this earth again so he closed your weary eyes and he whispered peace be thine then he took you up to heaven so gentle and so kind God looked around his garden and he found an empty place. Then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face. He put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest. God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best. Oh, God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best. go alone for part of us went with you the day God called you home 
God looked around his garden and he found an empty place. Then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face. He put his arms around you and he lifted you to the rest. Because na papa ta dia wo me ho ama hang no me show room for about a month nti me ne chat bi i was rich me ba me fro na dia ta dia na bre me nti ni pakro no frame no man ji ani until we say me kwashu sha man for start up me did you obi a engine na e bia woni ne share ye no o kan bi bi a wo de bo wo bra e ye ye o kan send bi a e to wa kuma so a e bre yi mo wo kai sa asem no a Papa can send me bray and a tremi, Nadia told Macuma to find me say, or say rich, Usa, but in Yangopo want to jaw. A yet they are a neighbor bound home, and for Winyam some in the Yako. There be an upper make issue or say, my boss or say, Uncle Mama, Papa Befremi, and I say, be our Bema, fastest Nibi Abbati, Ababish said him here. Another <laughs> Inti me catch a young woman, I won't say, Yankopon and Shay and Ding. Not the busy be an ounce and Yankopon the Ope, I'm no way. Yeah, that's it. A radiant show. Yakosua, a war, Power Chapel Worldwide, Power Cathedral. Ah, yeah, 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 Sophopon, Penny, Sophopon, ah, or then the home man, Christo, and then the home man, Sappho, then the home man, Busia, and you will be around. go alone for part of us went with you the day God called you home God looked around his garden and he found an empty place then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face he put his arms around and he lifted you to rest God's garden must be beautiful He always takes the best Yes, he always takes the best We knew that you were suffering We knew you were in pain We knew you'd never get well on this earth again so he closed your weary eyes and he whispered peace be thine then he took you up to heaven so gentle and so kind God looked around his garden and he found an empty place then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face. He 
put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest God's garden must be beautiful he always takes the best oh God's garden must be beautiful he always takes the best go alone for part of us went with you the day God called you home the person opened his arms for all the young ministers of Boise. he was a role model he was a pace setter we all looked up onto him because he we saw the grace of God upon his life and we also saw how he was able to pave way for the ministry for the ministry for the body of Christ in Oboase. He's one of the founding fathers who paved way for charismatic ministry in Oboase. And so he was he was a role model. We looked up onto him. His Congress conference every year is an international conference that brings people all over the world to Oboase. He really sell Oboase to the world. Apostle really showcased Oboase to the world that there is something good on that land when it comes to the gospel. He also believes in quality, doing things quality for God. And that's the inspiration we took from him. He was a role model to pastors, to ministers, to everybody. So his, his death is a great loss to us as the body of Christ and the people of Oboasi. And, and that actually brings me to my next question. When you heard of the demise of the apostle, right at that moment, how do you feel? It was a shock. We were not expecting it. We, 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 were, we, were, we, were, we were shocked. Tears were flowing because we, we were looking up to him. We, we thought that God would give him a chance to live for a long time so that the great work he's doing in the land, if he can continue. Our worry now is Congress Conference. What is going to happen? Who is going to take over? Is it going to continue? Because it's, it's a conference that brought Obuasi together and the world together. And everybody look up to that conference because out of it, we we're all inspired, empowered, anointed for great works in the land. So it's a sad news. We can't we can't fight God. We don't understand why, but we we hope that God will give a replacement, somebody who can continue from where he has stopped, because the work he has done on the land is massive. And it can't just go down like that. We know that God will have somebody in mind, but we trust that uh, God should help us. God should help us indeed. So your last words for his family and uh, his wife, his children, even uh, uh, Gloria Zion Mission International. We, we, we pray God's grace. It's a difficult time. Our uh, mama, Mercy, and the children and the family, we ask that God will strengthen them and then God should help them to overcome and then I believe that they also have a destiny to fulfill. He has fulfilled his own. He's lived for 52 years and he's made a great mark on the land. We know that God will help them, strengthen them. We are with them. We are praying with them. We are in Obwasi. So whatever we can do to support them, we are ready to do it. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so we are still at the Power Cathedral. And this is where we lay in state Apostle Emmanuel Atta Adade. And right after he's laying in state, we'll take him into the auditorium for the memorial service. And afterwards, we'll take him to Kronom Abwehia. That's where we would bury him. And then at 12 noon, we'll sit at Kwadaso Bepostle School Park for the final funeral rites. Thank you very much. God bless you. We knew you'd never get well on this earth again. So he closed your weary eyes and he whispered peace.
peace be thine Then he took you up to heaven So gentle and so kind God looked around his garden And he found an empty place Then he looked down upon the earth And he saw your precious face He put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest God's garden must be beautiful He always takes the best Oh, God's garden must be beautiful He always takes the best go alone for part of us went with you the day God called you home God looked around his garden and he found an empty place then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face he put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest God's garden must be beautiful He always takes the best Yes, he always takes the best We knew that you were suffering We knew you were in pain We knew you'd never get well on this earth again so he closed your weary eyes and he whispered peace be thine then he took you up to heaven so gentle and so kind God looked around his garden and he found an empty place then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face He put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest God's garden must be beautiful, he always takes the best Oh, God's garden must be beautiful, he always takes the best about software that day a year say pastor best over with the now we and why young how are we name no am I the departure me did the Reverend Collins a fee apostle at the day apostle and then you know who was in look after the job churches in the new room to play our economy more I never want me Kai for apostle because yeah the chairman the vice chairman of our company, our patron, our company, our true book, our launching. Our launching, no, our person, our launching, the first is a book. In fact, we share the first time, I mean, share that in the apostle. But the first time, the apostle, who said, or you'll be a young man, a you son. 
na nimdie ne wo ho apart from se oye nya bi nya me ankasa e e gifted nya me de sa adom no akye no ogina ba bi kasa hu se inspiration no ye very high na in fact se ye hwe de ato ye na me hu no se kingdom no ye lose great man of god na me enim no kure ni na nyankopon na ye nche na se ha se de nya me ye na de said the Isaiah and woman can also say, Nipe bi wo ho na so fri mo a. Ma ye mfa nshe ya kumam. Sen se, eh bi a. Na denje bi ye wo ne nimti ne nyami a frem. Because mi hounu se, Wa ye ne juma. Sa wo she a hinye no. Wo ba obo ase, me me wo obo ase. Wo ba obo ase, wo she. Apostle Adade. Kingdom no mo, Sen ye wo si a bode. Ne hon, eni nipa a. Wo te ti wo mo a. Mi hounu se, Nyame, Di open wo ye. The Yame Pen Wayampa, the Yame Pen Wayampa. So, they won't call book lunch and I say, or yeah, member of more association, no near day. If I saw maybe a Samba could be an Ode Kayano. A Samba, one of the Kaya Apostle, you say, or so your software, Sunya dear. Where your software is Sunya dear, so when Sunya dear, and then on Christosum baby I could do, so when Sunya dear, Debian, Obey Kana. Dear Bako, I'm sure if you're a person, because Nippa no launch a book, no new beer, or yet, or yet, make us a make up Christian Service University. Your lecturer or your lecture on an old truth, a book, not Osha Apostle Bell launch. Osha, not as any Nimdian also. Nimdian no Ewasro. So I said, I did a call Kai free apostle on a say, We are software, see, I dear Daddy, oh, you can any, oh, Emma. If I saw a character chasing me, I'd show him. The America chile, the mama, Mrs. Sadade, and the Amofrano say, "I'm on shade." Now, Yanku Pondi, Onya Umu, ha, Umu Kuno, Juma Obeye, and Wewe and Juma, and then Yamia from Intino. Life must continue. Mrs. Say, the apostle did jaw on Mount Wasu. Yeah, that Yeah, that was it. Everything show. Ntia ha eye power chapel worldwide power cathedral Okay, to say your yeah, prophet Bedukobi Ewa has say, and and now no Yawada of a man tributes. Nan so so no Ebia. If I saw us can be so chair a busia. Na one now one much tributes Nasan so no, or Tibi be a free papa ho. Eja Akwaba. Yeah, on him. If I shall see a wound, the Maka Krabi. Now one kita would dear, now one name apostle Eddie. Nay. Na bra bomu wa ayonko kufa one no efa ye. Eh, we minu ya. Kishia is 30 years ago ni. Ya nanti 30 years a, asembiye ni enta. Na, mene ne da, mene ne sorry. And then, I request my class to meet me with the American. I could jam in town. I didn't know what to say. What down for? Unia. I know what down for. Unia, Precope. What to say? We're free. I didn't send our fan or send an essay. Naming Jindy. Because that month, April, yes, you know, yes, yeah. I mean, I hope mom dear. My wife. I hope dear. It must be a shower cross summer. Name mom. If I say okay, baby, try my mercy. Can we try ma? Any answer for? Me do phone me here. Mommy mercy, adade. Shedding water. No baby, I'm how. It's me too, baby. 
asase so no sanetie nyame bi kuta mu ye watwra fa ho bebem ono o menyina monhyaden de wo anim no ebe ye fe me do me don kula ni nyina na emra de anim no odo no ebe yi nedi bibia so ay kama ka kuma to ye mem mem ma oba mu mbu mem wo so why oba hima ami shira o ye da se papa ye da se suffering we knew you were in pain we knew you'd never get well on this earth again so he closed your weary eyes and he whispered peace be thine then he took you up to heaven so gentle and so kind God looked around his garden and he found an empty place Then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face He put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest God's garden must be beautiful He always takes the best Oh, God, God, welcome, Madam. Thank you. Um, please, what was your relationship with that person? He was my spiritual father. He was my spiritual father and a very good apostle. Wow. So, um, when you heard of the demise of the apostle, how did you feel? To be very frank, I didn't believe it at the first place, but it was true. So it was so shocking because he lived 52, which all of us was expecting more, but God knows best. So. Indeed, God knows best. So your last words to his family, his children, even Glorious Zion Mission Center. He always says that we live not for ourselves, but for God. So I pray all of us can make God, the things he wants us to do, we can do it and make Apostle proud wherever he is. That's my last word. Thank you very much, madam. Thank you for coming. So we, we, we are still at Power Chapel International, the lane in state of Apostle Emmanuel Atta Adade. And then right from here would be in the auditorium. And So, yeah, my interview. Like, um, who said we be a Hannah as I had the chronic to me a dinner cool room. And you know, it was a shocking news to some of us, most especially senior, yeah, yeah, close to him. You know, it was really a shocking news to us, yeah. But so, um, as a man, I'll be catching a year in the man, even glorious Zion. I'm sorry, man. No, Crane, prophet at that day is one of the kind that make us a young couple. The neighbor, as I say, so purposely for a few selective people, because or you be a baby, a way through a bra bomono on fan to turn a home in Yimo. Send your TB a prophet that that day is ready to welcome you. Or be to say, me say, from the time a prophet that that day found me send a bar in ministry, I'm assuming who is a papa in ministry. It has always been a joy to me because anytime be a member in the piano. He makes sure I'm okay. He makes sure I'm settled. He makes sure nothing is a problem to me. 
And one of the things that uh, occur uh, as a brand here, me, I'm ready. A bomb, a bra, be pimps to see. I am running a covered by you know. My my friend, my nyere. Me oh, I'm in your mumu alert. And I'm in who need him. And I'm also texting me on WhatsApp. Now your train is a palo, my son. Don't be afraid. Don't give up. Keep pushing. I'm proud of you. And have it in mind that I believe in you and believe in your ministry. For me to hear such words from such a person, believe you me, it was like a whole living life encounter. And to date, I still have that word in heart. Don't be afraid. Keep pushing. Wow, don't be afraid. Keep pushing. Uh, please, what's your name? Minister Paolo. Wow, Minister Paolo, yeah, that's the pastor. Bye. All right. Yeah, Michelle. So we are here at the Power Cathedral. put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest god's garden must be beautiful he always takes the best oh god's garden must be beautiful he always takes the best Hello. Apostle Emmanuel Adade Eho, Daddy Akaba. Yeah, if I shall see a who would get a wound here, Apostle Tia say, would not in ya yet. Apostle, yeah, be tears could build a stay. Apostle, best in fear, be a memories alone. And then I'm not saying, we walk right up to heaven. Back again. It broke our hearts to lose you, but you did not go alone. Don't be afraid. Don't give up. Don't give General Enema apostle nyame na mso aye wiase we mu no. Age wo a wo mpe nyame so mpa na obenya no ho asamaka. E wa sofo bebere ne wo ye gana ha. E beti ba kasa apostle dan so. Ni pe nyina. Odo ni pe nyina pe ni pe nyina ni ni pe nyina atena so mdwe mu. Ma ye ni ana ana ye hunu de ye hunu. Oni ni pe nyina atena se asomdwe. Daddy, e be se wo ka bibi chira ekunani no. Mami. Uh Yes, yeah, 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 I was I was saying, 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 I I one man yet trouble and trouble won't even call with him. It's better to be a pioneer of your future than a prisoner of your yesterday. Other day is no more, but you are still alive. 
See, Apostle that day is no more, but Omunina Ewaha and Mama Mercy. Daddy, you mean sure, yeah, that's it. a dream and I think I'm still dreaming though it's been lies still there but I still feel it's not dead but alive I'm still in the mood of shock Reverend is still in the mood of shock but we believe he has some words for the widow he will have some words for the children and the family that and the whole church as well Papa we would like you to give your last words to the widow and the family and even the church at large. The little I can say is um, there is time for everything the Bible says. Um, there is time to be born, there is time to die. And uh, he's gone. Jesus said, I must go. And I believe that he has finished his work. There's nothing we can do that will bring him back. So all that we need to do is to encourage ourselves as David did and then put ourselves together and then look ahead because there are more to be done. So I believe that uh, let's encourage ourselves and I pray that the comforter will hold our hearts and comfort us in such a difficult moment and such a difficult time. So we have the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, to hold us in this difficult time. Thank you so much for your time, Daddy. You're Thank welcome. you. You're welcome, my dear. Tears could build a stairway And memories 
is a lane We'd walk right up to heaven And bring you back again It broke our hearts to lose you But you did not go alone For part of us went with you The day God called you home God looked around his garden And he found an empty place Then he looked down upon the earth And he saw your precious face He put his arms around you And he lifted you to rest God's garden must be beautiful He always takes the best Yes, he always takes the best suffering. We knew you were in pain. We knew you'd never get well on this earth again. So he closed your ears. Thank, Thank you. Please, what's your name? I'm Dr. Daniel Kobina Okran. Please, how did you know the Apostle? Apostle Imana Dade, for me, was a spiritual authority. Um, he was my spiritual father. It was one person who could order me, instruct me to sit times I wanted to stand. I was very close to him and the family, and he was also very close to my family. He was my pastor. And so if you ask my relationship with him, he was such a person to me. When, when you heard the demise of the apostle, how, how did you feel right at that moment? That day marks um, one of the saddest days in my life. Um, it was not easy. It was too bad the news to be true. I remember we were in a prayer meeting, praying for him, and one of the fathers of the land, Apostle James Corte, summoned us that he had a word, a message for us. It, it looks strange because we were praying, and you know, when you are praying, there's no need for, um, uh, or we don't have time for talks. But then he sat us down and started talking. Initially, the pastors around didn't get the message. He was not going straight, but after a few minutes when he realized that we were not getting what he, he wanted to communicate to, he went directly to tell us that our father was no more. And I remember we were about 12 in that meeting and everybody started crying. It was a sad moment for all of us. A sad moment indeed. Um, when you remember the apostles, what comes to mind? When the name apostle is mentioned, what actually comes to mind? He was a man that had an excellent spirit. His lifestyle, his messages, all preach excellence in the body of Christ. He believed that in the kingdom, everything we needed to do to God needed to be done excellently. He had integrity and um, of course, you, you can hear everybody saying, nobody is saying anything bad about him. And they are not exaggerating. Everything people are, the people are telling or saying about him are true words. Wow, true words indeed. Please, what's your last words for his wife, his children, even Gloria Zion International and the church as a whole? Well, I place a demand upon the heavens to comfort them, to strengthen them, and to be there for them all the days of their lives. Physically, as humans, we are also present to offer any, any human support as much as possible to them. And um, we wish them all the best and pray that the soul of our Father will rest in perfect peace. We may he rest in perfect peace. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you.
Welcome, sir. Thank you, my dear. Um, please, what's your name? I am Pastor Samuel Frifa from, from Glorious Zion Mission International. Wow. Then that means that you really knew the apostle. What was your relationship with the apostle like? Um, my relationship with apostle is very tight, very close. I've known Apostle Adade for like 22 years now, being in the church. And on this day, as we all know, it's, it's a very big blow to all of us. Knowing a man such as this, like very selfless, always ensure that you are in good shape, counseling, telling you what is good to do, making sure you live a godly life in order to achieve your purpose in life. Wow. Yeah. So, you know, this is the kind of man I have lost. Wow. I don't know about any other person, but this is the kind of man I have personally lost. Okay. So, um, when you heard of the news, of his demise, knowing how close you are to him and all, how did you feel? My dear, like I said earlier, it was a big blow. Hearing that Apostle Emmanuel Adade is dead, I, I, it wasn't light for me. When I heard the news, I fell. Yes, I fell down and I lost control because I realized that something very heavy has left me. Yes. Something very heavy indeed. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks for coming. God bless you. <laughs> So we are still at the Power Cathedral and the laying in state of Apostle Emmanuel Atta Adade. Afterwards, we'll take him into the auditorium for the memorial service.
me pacho and no pay so the bow din a tree pacho ye frozen pacho me din the winter akosa me pacho a yonko fa ben ena ne da won ne aposo imano atada de entem okay me nim no bebre by fe ka kam ne be hu no no me hu no se o ye eja e ma me o hu a me ba e ti sen na me se eye na o se won kran e tu ofu e me ye sen ga me nkoso na enyom no me nto na nshire bi enyakopon wo de ma me no me sa aka no ye eja e de ma me se se ya won ni hoyi e ya de enti en kran xe sen ben e na wo de be ma abusia ne me ka che abusia ni se yakopon na e ma ono wa na wo ji woni bi eti a wo to me sa afre papa e wo emre ese mu ni abusia fo won xe de yakopon e be xe won de o be xe won na e mu ni won mo ma ho de na e ko na aka wo wenim no Me pacho be bo idi a chere na wa ma ye hu baby a o free e ba ha anope. Okay, e feme o so for na na bo achi sims. Me free power chapel worldwide cathedral. Me pacho ayon ko fa ben ne da one apostle Imano atada de entem. Okay, eh me da se. Apostle Imano ata ada de e ye ye papa preocupe. Ye papa ko si bo ate e na ni nua e no no. Na Science Pickens Conference, dear dear dear, no. I go pour for papers so Emma, or my in Shira. I be your mia some dear. No be 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 hold on in China. It's so free. Na ya in Shira M name be be sad dear. Name na also no be be hold on. I na in Chechi ne. I na misunya ne 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 teachings. I know the mayano. Na Emma ye hu hu mu ne hu na hu famu. Na Emma ye hu ni se. Ye be pen hold on. Oh, yeah, Papa, preocupe. Yeah, Papa, I know. In the Santa Maria, I say I go find a day in the time there. Near whom he said, "Eja, I know who he said, Emma." 
ti ene ya oni hui e de na wo kai a wo de be kai ne se ampa apostle adade e ho asem abi simetri mu adia me be kai ke se pa ye the teachings me sunya adie bi e fe no apologetics e free apostle imano ata adade ho se if you mira me start tie no no in church ne ya in church e wo nya me asem no one time he said a basset will be defended with Hopon Asema and Nayapoa. Ne a Yadi Bakuana apostle at I. In T. A Manisha, you can say, Mr. Tessia, Adia, with the Bible, I just saw my friend apologetics. In Tin Chenna Missia, Sado Kuni, if you. In Crasher Sembe, now the Bema Ebusia, and a Safo Menina. I dare to name a Yara was a certain kind beginning. Name Momono, Bible say, Babu Cassie was. The memory of the righteous is a blessing. What in any wood, who would say, Kaina, I am not a yin shra. In tea, the Mega Mama, it was a four day for yan and said, Yin yin tum set, Unyanko Paul, and our attendants are afraid never. Na yen friend, no, yeah, I was a check. The Bible said, Say, will be a woo, I won't even call a yan and chain. In tea, I saw me can yan and said, In your yan share holiday, whom said Ed in the air, Ned and Yadia, your dad, Jenny Yan is so sweet. Now so a series. Into a say, you know, the Bayan said, the Bishop Hode, the Bindi generation will say, Never part out when you're coupon and chain. Send your channel, I can't a mere ten. Amen. Yet I see peace, eh? Ya was so our part chapel worldwide, IPT. I ye kata yen papa, apostle Emmanuel Atta at that day, a chief rakra. Yamawakaba, <laughs> Inti ene adia ba kwa makai ni se every Saturday biya mi kofi yuko yimi papati. Inti kwa ene Saturday inka mi limse inka mi kofi yuko yimi papati. But I never expect this. Adia ba kwa me deka me papa no no. Ene se se mi yini tia mana. Dewe obesi ni mi akasa efutu wa debe mami. Na at times uti mi kasa mi na me sere se biya be nine o'clock no se mi kofi na mi nyango ya na wabusa. A dear de frame wall was a frame TP. No, we saw Rita TP Yamba. You see, I don't know a bear man. Why not be so baby? Meet ten o'clock now, Mammy Anna. Nasim, you could do our catcher say, Hey, we see, I do meet you, but so we need ten o'clock. And then Saturday, my fist are dear. My fist are dear. Then can that Saturday then come you cook number queen, papa tea. Now so can't never expect this. Yes, sir. 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 And now, anyway, dear now, the beka in a pa. A dear me, the beka me papa ye a futu ne do na hobra se kasa ne odjo kasa se ye nimpa ye ye nkwalai so ofre ye niya se at times so ofre mi ni mi nyamba ya ti mi pacho na ho enyimfa a dear ba ko me the beka me papa ye na hobra se 
any a footwa or the ma me se a ba na order in satu no come bo ma beti se me de way ba a dear ba kwa mekaino se mini papa ni minya papa o so mi mu a dear ba kwa mekaino yanko pon shao ye ma yen yina yanko se den me da se mami ye wo soa wo pasta po So Jina ye papa apostle, ni wufu sumno emu, na ye kai kaino, ye ni ado food in komo, na ye she, senia omusi e kaino efa. Wahineba, wahine nana, ye she she. Ya ye na. Now what you say? Ye so adum. Ye ka se apostle ata akwesi adadea. Wane wane? Apostle ata adade, eye nyamini pa. Yamini Pakasia, Yami, a yin my a vibrin. When Yamini Pa, or Ben Radia was so ready. When Yamini Pa, they be on in Bishabiano, and Yamiasim, and what the mound. No watch all crying, no was so true for what showed in Ukis to Sumi. And yet, now name Apostle Yepa. What a Roma can one sem sima a trim. You mean my apostle Yepa, Apostle of Amise. Neba, and Yemen Kwame, any mini soap of Bakun, soap of Koju. Now you will come as a dear, and so Tem Bia, good to come over Bia, no, your friends, Papa, who I know Castle be true pa, your corner, and I say, Emma Nibon Pi, am I? Now, dear Bakua, make kind Papa ye pa ye, a bribe, be busy or my queen. One year, Yasuri be your program, Light of Life Chapel, Father's West It. Now, all minister, no, I don't catch your son. Your power and mature idea. Now, if you see a material thing, be now what you mommy. Now, and your material thing, and there you are at the moon. What a Roma say, say, soon, so my dear Pana, no, the mom, Matthias, yeah, yeah, burning tea. What a Roma say, and I walk on actually cranial instruments in at here. Emma, oh, my shra, dear pa, will nip a family, dear, your hair, dear, and your main chain, dear, and the yapa, da, wow, sha, what da, um, we, and a mammy. Nin soon seen at ten in Senny Fan a pine. A dear summer will catch them any answer for my dear make catch me, mammy, so mammy mercy, any glorious Zion, any name must say on Monshadin. Made the mini me say, Namina, I fought in South Fray, Papa. Now, mini me say, Namia, what fun is I bring? No, me bomb person, I may say, on funny dinner, and to me, mammy mercy so. And my friend also, Royal Zion, watch up for any being a sort of beer or criminal program be an engineer or five send the menu. I know in your chair, hooray. Yen and I and your chair, hooray, a war, a radimo, or in anana, Yamin Shrell, a Becos one, I am bonco more, Naya Shay, Senia, a full front, so Becca, your papa.
Yet I saw your papa and come out to train him. Minya, my mom, yes, yeah, yeah, we did, yes, say, yeah, my home at Ding, but a Roma say, and now we name papa apostle at a other day. Yes, it would be the mobile saying, I will see one. You in the day, Mary, I hope I say a Juma at the Mikupi or Boise Municipal Assembly. And I may a Juma our Lance Commission our of Boise. Now, the BM Cotton Eye and area Hono, a Faho Ridge, a Hona Apostle, now sorry, no a war. In Timin, now sorry, no a bay. If we now sorry, na bear three houses away. Now we do if we now sorry, na three houses away. A year brain tea. Ye perse who can apostle who has sempa editor ya helpful. A dear Mekai me papa pa ye program na na yearly and I say a fibiana oje o obwase na en nam so emma et situ and a brimpon a be pie wa obwase pa sa ju medie no and a medebe kai ye papa emra na wa yesa program no and ni pa na en nam so trim wamu ebe drew obwase no na ye menige. If you are crying, we fear. Now, me say, it's a mama who can say, me never go cry. I sorry them all. Now, me see preaching. It's them never feel. What a Roma, Fipa de Oberfino, yen so ye be fino. What a Roma, a dear Sam now did Jabusia. Me, ma, me, ma, me, ma, messy, and ne, me, me, and Munina, Emmanuel, Evelyn, no more come on in your ass, in your eye and share your hooding. A cosword and pie, but a tie, Omunina, a a radia or free papa, a corner home with Gimono, San Yanko Pona and a Bishop. Amen. Amen. Welcome to everybody joining us here at the Power Cathedral. My name is Isaac, and we are taking interviews from um, people from the political space, from the clergy, and from everybody who is around here. Um, sir, please, your name and where you are working in from. Apostle Leduce Nyamiche, Glory Life Church, Kumase. Okay, Apostle, you are welcome to the Power Cathedral. Yeah, thank you. Apostle Emmanuel Atadidi, when the name is mentioned, what three attributes comes into mind? Yeah, Apostle Atadidi stayed with me and my sister about 40 years ago at Atonsu, Bukro. Then got married to Mercy, who was also with us in House of Faith Ministry. I've known Apostle Adade for so many years, a disciplined man of God, a humble man of God, one who respects with integrity. So when I heard the news, I decided to stop whatever I'm doing to come and pay my tribute to my son, Apostle Adade, the general. How did you feel immediately that the news broke to you that um, Apostle has gone to be with the Lord. Yeah, the wife called me, and some of her brethren told me about the demise of Apostle, most especially Bishop Jim Setre, the senior brother of Apostle Jim Adade. And when I heard it, it was not easy, but you know, God takes it and He gives it. So I decided I will not travel and make sure to be here when everything is over, then I can take off my leave. Your final words to the family? Yeah, to the family, especially the wife, the mom, and the children, that my final word is that God will console them, strengthen them, and protect them. Thank you, sir. God bless I'll you. see you inside.
you are still reminded that we are here live at the Power Cathedral. If you are joining us on Facebook and all on our social media handles, it is Power Chapel Worldwide. And we are here taking interviews and sharing testimonies and reminiscing the life of a general, the life of a gallant soldier that has gone to be with the Lord. and a senior brother in the ministry. We all came to meet them in the Lord. And by the grace of God and the inspiration of their lives, we watched them from afar. Mostly at times we get together and then we suddenly heard about his death. So we came to show how a brother and how a departure to the glory. So we came in to show. Your final words to the family and to the church, Glorious Chapel. We bless God. We believe that the Bible says that I will burn my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So the owner and the builder of the church is Jesus. And for the church, I know it's safe. We pray for the family that God will guide them and the Holy Spirit will lead them to the next level that God wants the ministry to be. So we pray that God will bless all of them and protect them. Thank you very much. Thank God you for speaking to us. Thank you. A few days ago, I was going through my notes um, about some few days ago, I think two days ago. Um, Apostle was here to have a program with us. For part of us went with you the day God called you home. God looked around his garden and he found an empty place. Then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face. He put his arms around you. And he lifted you to rest. God's God must be beautiful. He always takes the best. Yes, he always takes the best. We knew that you were suffering. We knew you were in pain. We knew you. Again. So he closed your weary eyes 
Jesus. He whispered, peace be thine. Then he took you up to heaven. So gentle, so kind. Your name and where you are walking. I'm coming from I'm, I'm Bishop Fino from South Africa. Wow. You're welcome all the way from South Africa. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, how long have you known Apostle Emmanuel Atadadi? Sorry? How long have you known Apostle Emmanuel Atadadi? Apostle Daddy? I've, I've known him for, for five years now. Yes, for five years. Yes, yes, yes. What comes into mind immediately the name Atta Adadi is mentioned? What three attributes can you give to him? Ah, I think integrity, faithfulness. For example, he has been a friend to my father for over 40 years. So they've known each other. So we're to travel from different countries because their relationship has impacted us in a mighty way, you see. So he's a great man, great faithful man. I think that in signs and tokens every time, we would, uh, we would see, we'd want to see a tall man walking by uh, the prophet Victor Kusipoateng. So we will miss him dearly. He has, he has been a great man to us, especially to our father. Yeah. What was the reaction when the news broke to you that he has gone to be with the Lord? Come again. Your reaction when the news broke to you that he had gone to be with the Lord? I was stunned. Uh, it was quite very difficult to believe, you know, because I had the news when my father was at uh, 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 Prophet Makandiwa's uh, conference, Easter conference. So I had the news over there and it was very shocking. You know, in fact, many of us from different parts of the world are here still not believing it, you know, but I, I saw the body. So this is only the way to make a closure to it. Okay, okay, okay. So Bishop Fino is saying that Apostle Emmanuel Atada is going to be missed, um, especially during signs and tokens. Please, your words for his wife, his children, and the church that he heads. Oh, I want to say that may the Holy Spirit be the comforter. May the Holy Spirit, because there are no words that we can speak that will come to, you know, to the deepest part of the hearts. We can't say that we know the head that they have, but we, we are praying for them. We are here because we love you, especially the wife, you know, the lady apostle, we love you. And we know how much you loved your husband. We know how much you are dedicated even to his vision in the ministry. May God comfort you and be with you. To the children, may God be the father. May God, may God be the father. There's nothing else we can say, but the Holy Spirit is with you to comfort you and to give you the hope. So the, the God is, is still there and we, we trust God. And to the church, May God comfort you. May God embrace you. May God give you good memories that you're going to take forward. May you continue with the legacy of your spiritual father and take the church even into the higher heights. Finally, I know you are a spiritual son of um, the prophet. What are your final words to him to console him? Oh, I, I, what I can say that my father, um, only God knows, and God knows the, the, the integrity and the faithful, faithful relationship that you have had with the apostle. And uh, you, have given us, you have given us an example and a hope. And you have given us that uh, uh, brotherhood still exists. That you became friends from over, like, uh, like over 40 years uh, from long time ago until now. Until death do you apart. So to us, this is, uh, uh, this is a message. This is a sermon. This is a... This is the word that we take from this, that brotherhood exists and you can keep the relationship until death. So my father be comforted and, and may God really comfort your heart and give you the hope. And uh, uh, we thank God for the Lord Jesus Christ that you are going to see each other again. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Apostle, for speaking to us. I hope to see you next time. Right. Thank God you. And save back you. to thank South you. Africa. But you did not go alone For part of us went with you The day God called you home God looked around his garden And he found an empty place Then he looked down upon the earth And he saw your precious face He put his arm God's garden must be beautiful, he always takes the best, yes, he always takes the best. We knew that you were so.
suffering We knew you were in pain We knew you'd never get well On this earth again So he closed your weary eyes And he whispered, peace be thine Then he took you up to heaven So gentle and so kind God looked around his garden And he found an empty place Then he looked down upon the earth And he saw your precious face He put his arms around you And he lifted you to rest God's garden must be beautiful He always takes the best Oh, God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best. go alone for part of us went with you the day God called you home God looked around his garden and he found an empty place then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face he put his arms around and he lifted you to rest God's garden must be beautiful He always takes the best Yes, he always takes the best We knew that you were suffering We knew you were in pain We knew you get well on this earth again so he closed your weary eyes and he whispered peace be thine then he took you up to heaven so gentle and so kind God looked around his garden and he found an empty place then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face. He put his arms around you and he lifted you to rest. God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best. Oh, God's garden must be beautiful. He always takes the best If tears could build a stairway and memories We'd walk right up to heaven and bring you back again. It broke our hearts to lose you, but you did not go alone. For part of us went with you the day God called you home. God looked.
the Lord. Men and brethren, ladies and gentlemen, from far and near, I said, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. We thank God for today. Finally, the day has come. The day we will all say that the Lord has made for us all to rejoice and be glad and he also honor God for a life of a man God used to affect many lives on behalf of our widow the mama the children the family of the late Apostle Emmanuel daddy and the family of the mother of Apostle Iman Aladade.
prophet Victor Kusibuatin. Power Chapel Worldwide, Glorious Zion Mission. We welcome everyone to today's memorial service in honor of our father, our mentor, a global voice, Apostle Emmanuel Dade. Amen. Yama Obibia Akwaba Enne Edusianina Obi Akwaba Memorial Service. Because of time, we will just take off to start with the opening prayer. Hallelujah. And then let's take this few information. There is a barcode at the entrance of the auditorium because we have limited copies of the memorial service book. So if you go there and you scan, you have all the details on your phone. And then also at the back of the book too, we have the barcode inscripted there. When you scan it, you have the details. Your book, Nechino, any entrance, barcode will be it in a book, no, so when you have your details in Nina, a year tribute details, any biography details in Nina, no, Yachron Nina, Nasa Oscania, on Sabaka Nina, na to me, Abua. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, on this note, we're going to start with our opening prayer. We have the Deputy Chairman of Obuasi Ministers Association in the person of Reverend Samuel Harmon. He is here. He is also the missions director of the Assemblies of God Church, Ashanti region. Now, what be the name of God? Then we take our opening prayer shortly. So, with the hands of our Lord, rest receive God's servant as he comes. Praise the Lord. Please let's be on our feet. Let's pray. Our Father God, once again we thank you. We bless you, O oh God, for you are doing and your strength and your presence with us. We started with you and we are continuing with you. We commit this memorial service into your hand. We know that, Lord, you have something for us. As we worship you, as we hear your word, we pray that through the power of the Holy Spirit, Father, you will work in our life. You will challenge us. You will encourage us. We commit every part of this program into your hand. We are praying the Holy Spirit lead us and guide us. And at the end, we will say thank you, Jesus, for all the Lord you have done. We bless your wonderful name. We glorify you. We know that you are with us. We can sense that. We can feel that. May your name be glorified. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Please, you may be seated. Amen. Hallelujah. And shall we be on our feast too? And shall we be there? Please, let's be on our feet. It's time for worship. Hallelujah. This morning, we have to give God the praise and worship. Hallelujah. is with him. He bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not his benefits. Hallelujah. So just lift your voice this morning and give me worship. Just lift the voice. Just lift the voice. Just one second. Just lift the voice. 
just lift the voice and worship him. Just lift the voice. 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 Just lift the voice. Lift the voice. Father, we worship you. We salute you this this morning. You are worthy. You are worthy. Lift the voice. Lift the voice. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you.
To give God some praise, hallelujah. Oh, don't sit down, don't sit down. Let's give God some praise, amen. Our Father is a man of praise, hallelujah. So we need to give God a praise, hallelujah, amen. Let's give a clap. It's if I was a narration inside. Why you get us so? Come on. And show me me. Why you get us so? Oh, my end. I'm going in a more. It's if I was a narration inside. Why you get us so? Why are we 
to Jehovah. Lift the voice. Oh, this is our, our sorrow, different. Yeah, oh yeah, crow, 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 yes, it's true. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh Hallelujah. You may clap your hands and let's appreciate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. That was a very powerful praise and worship from the power choir. Amen. I will claim your honor, ladies and gentlemen, for us to acknowledge the officiating ministers that are hearing, gathered to see to it that there is decency and order in honor of 
our Apostle General Emmanuel Adade. And before then, there were some hymns he really loved when he was alive. So those in charge to sing, get ready. When I'm done with the acknowledgement of the officiating ministers, you come up right away. First on the list, ladies and gentlemen, is Most Reverend Professor Daniel Yinkasa for the Anglican Archbishop Emeritus. We also have right Reverend Dr. Noom Ben Abubakar, past Kumasi Daosisan Methodist Bishop. We have in the house Reverend Dr. Steve Asante, past president, Ghana Baptist Convention. We also have Reverend Benson Safo Kantanka, Asante Presbytery Chairperson, Presbyterian Church of Ghana. We have Reverend Dr. Douglas Okuna from Point General Overseer Center for Christian Outreach Ministries. We also have very Reverend Augustus Henry Awotri, the Methodist Church, Ghana. We also have the Archbishop Emeritus Dr. Samuel Richard Ade, Founding Father, International Council of Churches and Ministers of Great Britain. We also have Archbishop Dr. Divan Ajimambadu, President, International Council of Churches and Ministers of Great Britain as well. We have Bishop Enes Renchibedu, Vice President, International Council of Churches and Ministries, Ministers of Great Britain. We have Bishop, because of time, let's hold on with the hands of clap, and then we finish, then we do it all together once. We have Bishop Obin Boache, General Secretary, International Council of Churches and Ministers of Great Britain. We have Bishop George Bercon Ampofo, Administrator of the same International Council of Churches and Ministers of Great Britain. We have Bishop Dr. Charles Frimpong, Executive Member of the Licensing, Ordination, and Mentoring Committee. We also have Bishop Joseph Aduse, General Overseer, Praise Gate Temple, London West Croydon. We also have Apostle General, Most Reverend Sam Crunchy, Ankara, the General Overseer, Royal House Chapel, Worldwide. On the officiating ministers, we have Bishop N.A. Taki Aboy, General Overseer and President of Vitry Bible Church International. We have Reverend Dr. Ampia Kofi, General Overseer of Global Revival Ministry and President of Ampia Kofi World Outreach. We have Lady Bishop Joy Philip Bruce, Fountain of Life Cathedral, the Mega Church, Kumasi, in the house. We have Apostle, sorry, we have Her Ladyship Bishop and the Husband Archbishop Bruce, also in the house. We have Apostle Dennis Ewuku Welbeck, North America Coordinator, Better Prayer Ministry, Toronto, Canada. We also have as a continuous list of the officiating ministers, Bishop Dr. Elvis Kessi, Provincial Bishop of Ashanti Obuasi Province, Victory Bible Church International, and Chairman for Obuasi Ministers Association, myself. Bishop George Kingsley Amuakun, President of Covenant House Chapel and founding member of Obuasi Ministers Association. Apostle James Cote, founder and executive president of New Life Chapel International. Reverend Samuel Harmon, the vice chairman of Obwasi Ministers Association and the missions director of Assemblies of God Ashanti. We have Reverend Ben Mensa, founding member of Obwasi Ministers Association. We have Reverend Silvanus A.J. Brown, founding member of Obuasi Ministers Association, and now the regional superintendent of ICGC Bono, Bono East and a half regions. We have also 
Reverend Michael Oka, the general overseer of Perfecting Faith Chapel. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't have eternity to also acknowledge every one of us as we may understand and agree with all humility. However, ever all protocol observed. Amen. On this note, we invite to the stage a Fiesica, Minister Fiesica, to take us on for the hymns when the general was alive, he really loved so much. Efia, you are most welcome. A hands of applause, ladies and gentlemen.
as host and guide all for who seek the land above in me thy shadows we abide the clouds of thy protection love captain of Israel's host and guide all for who see the land above in shadows we abide the clouds of thy protection love can we sing it together our strength thy grace oh the Lord is our strength this morning thy
to trust Him all, all for grace. All for to trust Him Experientially with the Apostle General Emmanuel Daddy. These are a few of the hymns he really loved so much. And anytime they are sung, you realize that he's really caught up into the realms. He was a man of worship indeed. If you are here this morning, you are most welcome to the burial and the memorial service of apostle emmanuel adade those of us watching us live on facebook you are most welcome we acknowledge you and we pray that the lord will touch you from every ends you are watching us from on the list we're going to have a biography read to us so the one in charge to read the biography please be set and before you come over to up this stage we have the director of operations jubilee house in the person of honorable lord come in the house you are most welcome if you want to clap please let's do it well to acknowledge him we also have in the house honorable john kuma the deputy minister of finance and also the mp for offense honorable you are most welcome, sir. Ejusu, sorry, Ejusu. MP4, Ejusu. We're going to listen to the biography of Apostle Emmanuel Dade. So the one to read the biography, please, kindly come upstate and let us hear you read to us. Can you give us just a slight song whilst we wait? Just a slight song whilst we wait. With a spontaneous song, please.
the Lord. Let's appreciate the King of Kings with the hands of praise. Amen. We're going to take the biography of God's servant Apostle Emmanuel Dade and it's going to be by video. So the media, if you are ready, let's have the biography. Apostle Emmanuel Atta Akwesi Adade. You lived for only 52 years, but your impact on the lives of people shall continue to speak. Okay, I'm sorry for you. You met the blues and we've taught you a lesson. This is the end of Madrid. The blues all the way. Every stage of your life are your classmates. Well, and the we different should. courses you learn at the University of Life are the different challenges you face in life. It and the so lessons well, that you are taught in the University of Life are the events and the processes that you go through in life. Can I confidently tell you something? Yes, Lord. God wants to bless you. But not until you learn, you cannot receive what God wants to give you. Because you see, not until you build capacity to manage finance, you can't get the financial breakthrough. Because heaven does not believe in waste. If God gives you something that you cannot manage, you waste it. And that is why God doesn't just call people and start using them. When God calls somebody, he exposes them to different kinds of events and different kinds of situations. Why? Whilst going through, they are learning the important lessons and receiving the equipment that helps them to live a life of fulfillment. Why are we so much in a rush to make it in life? We don't want to go through the stages of life. We don't want to go through the processes of life. We don't want to learn the requisite skill and the important lessons that help us to get to the top and help us to make, maintain or to stay at the top. It is very simple to get to the top, but it is not easy to be maintained at the top. If you get to the top without the capacity to, to get to the top, you will get there and come down. I'm telling you somebody, if you steal somebody's $2 million today and don't know how the person made it, you can misuse that money. People who get money cheap use money stupidly. Friday, 7th April 2023, recognized by the Christian calendar as the special Good Friday was the day you inaudibly 
gave up the ghost to be with the Lord. Your work on earth was punctuated on that glorious day, possibly prompting us to remember the sacrificial work of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Apostle Emmanuel Atta Adade paved the way for others to follow. He served with modesty and abstemiousness, without flattery of survivors or any ominous intentions, but purely for the glory of God and the excitement of others. In fact, the approbation or admiration of this great man, no matter how commendable they are, are not mere words, but a recognition of deeds of exploits. Your life proves to all that, regardless of one's psychosocial background, with dint of hard work and a sense of godly vision, anyone could make a global impact on the lives of countless number of people. Apostle Imano Atadade and his twin sister were born in Kumase, Ghana, West Africa to Mr. Lawrence Emmanuel Kwesi Adade, aka Laka, who was then the manager for United African Company, UAC, and Madame Grace Adjua Pukia, a trader in Kumase Asafu Market, on Sunday, the 21st of March, 1971. Emmanuel Adade, together with his siblings, were raised in one of the most serene suburbs in Kumase. As well. Emmanuel Adade started his basic education at St. Benedict's Preparatory School in Kumase Asafo. He proceeded to Amankwetia Experimental School, Kumase Asqua. Later on, he pursued his secondary education at T.I. Amedia Secondary School. He was a brilliant student. Academically, he was known on campus to be one of the best students. Whilst pursuing his secondary education as a general science student at T.I. Amas, his spiritual hunger for the things of God intensively grew while searching for spiritual profundity in Christ. He met his campus friends, Victor Kusi Boateng, our prophet, Albert Enin of Blessed Memory, Charles Dedu Apostle, Frank Bonsu, Edward Kwame Fodjo, Prophet Lawrence Ousuansa, among a tall list of firebrands who finally came together to form a student group called the Youth Evangelistic Ministry, YEM. The group used to meet at a popular uncompleted administration block on campus called the Slaughterhouse. Every meeting attracted a lot of students, and the word of God preached was backed by miracles, signs, and wonders. In 1991, Emmanuel Adade completed his advanced level education. Growing up, Apostle Emmanuel Adade had a childhood dream of becoming a gynecologist. As a brilliant science student, he worked hard to pursue his dream. However, his passion, zeal, and the love for God's work kept on growing. In the process of time, the call of God upon his life became so intense that he finally gave up his dream of pursuing medicine at the university. To him, everyone must follow their pursuit and not necessarily following others' opinion, no matter how great it may be. In seeking for further clarification, he embarked on a two-week prayer and fasting. Within that period, he had a supernatural encounter with the Lord and requested that God send someone to confirm his calling. Moments after his two-week encounter with the Lord, he attended the normal prayer meeting on campus and one of his friends, Prophet Lawrence Ousuansa, reaffirmed Emmanuel Adadi's decision of entering into the ministry. The prophet specifically told him that he, Emmanuel Adade, had a conversation with the Lord and he, Prophet Lawrence Ousuansa, had been sent to confirm to him that it is surely the Lord's will for Emmanuel Adadi to fully respond to the call of God. That day marked the commencement of Emmanuel Adadi's ministerial journey. Apostle Emmanuel Adade got married to his best friend, Mercy Efriye Donko, now Reverend Mrs. Mercy Efriye Adade, at Calvary Charismatic Church, CCC Kumase, on the 27th of May, 1995. Their marriage ceremony was officiated by Reverend Ransford Obain, the senior pastor of CCC. By grace, their marriage is blessed with five children, Evelyn, Emmanuel, Kezia, Kelvina, and Kirsten.
At the commencement of his ministerial journey, he faced lots of challenges when he declared his intention to respond to the call of God. At the initial stages, no one in his family, including his father and some of his friends, accepted that decision. To them, Adade was a brilliant student who could do so well and advance progressively on the academic ladder. Due to this mix-up on the part of his immediate family, he was kicked out from the house by his father for charting the path of ministry. He took to the streets and had to start living in other people's homes while doing his A-level national service at Asqua. He however remained resolute and unbendable to pursue the call of God for his life. To Apostle Emmanuel Adade, in detaching from the deterministic model of human nature, no one should be pushed into an uncomfortable profession, no matter how prosperous it is. Notwithstanding, younger people must follow their inner conviction with direct guidance from balanced teachers and parents. As part of pursuing the purpose of God for his life, he married and settled down with his wife, Reverend Mrs. Mercy Efriye Adade, four years after secondary school. As a newly connubial couple, Apostle Adade and his wife started praying together to seek for God's direction concerning their marriage and ministry. On one of their honeymoon prayer meetings, the Lord revealed himself to him, Adade, in a vision. In that vision, he saw himself and his wife situated by a big pool where a lot of people had come for them to wash and clean them up. Most of these people were very dirty. He saw that some were also kept down at the base of the pool and the debris under the pool had made them relatively dirty. In that vision, he saw that he was pulling them out of the pool to wash them whilst his wife also cleaned them up. To his amazement, he saw for the first time a white long limousine wagon that came to pick up the people after they had been washed and cleaned. The car moved the people to a bigger shopping mall where they were clothed and properly dressed up. In the vision, the Lord spoke to him clearly and said, I am calling you to become the repairer of the bridge. This revelation birthed the glorious Zion Mission International and Ima Adade Outreach Ministry. Apostle Emmanuel Adade and his dear wife, Reverend Mrs. Mercy Adade, were led by the Lord to Obwase to start a ministry after they rejected a proposal to move to the United Kingdom in starting a branch of a denomination. Ministering in Obwase was tough at the beginning, but the Lord saw them through. Due to financial constraints, they couldn't rent a place for church services or even rent a room. His wife had to perch with a lady friend whilst he, Adadi, stayed with a friend. They quickly organized some prayer meetings at the golf park in Obwase under a cocoa farm. The prayer meeting started growing fast in numbers and the Lord helped them to secure a classroom at Salvation Army School, Obwase, where the church officially took off in 1995. The couple also used to organize a monthly revival program dubbed the Tent Meeting at a particular location in the Obwase Township, where a lot of people were brought together. Highly anointed men of God like Prophet Opukunsia, Prophet Lawrence Ousuansa, Prophet Philip Bwedi, Prophet Noah Nyameche, Prophet Victor Kusibwating, among other leading servants of God were brought into the city of Obwase to be a blessing to the people through the teaching of the word of God and the demonstration of God's power to set captives free. The tent program had more than 500 to 700 people in attendance. While running the church at the Salvation Army School, the monthly revival tent program was also ongoing. There were lots of challenges at their official meeting place, so they had to find another place to their services. After consistent search, the Lord gave them a place, the Miners Dinner. This was the dining space for Anglo Gold Ashanti expatriates, which had been closed down for almost two years. For years, the Miners Dinner was their meeting place until the Lord made a way for Apostle Emmanuel Adade and his leadership team to own their land at the rich community in Obwase. Finally, the dream of building a multi-purpose auditorium was realized. This is the glorious dome where they currently meet for church service. 
Apostle Adade always believed in the social gospel, which promotes reaching out to the lost through material and financial assistance as demonstrated by the Lord Jesus Christ. Through his philanthropic project called Hands of Hope, he fed, clothed, sheltered, and provided assistance for the needy but intelligent children in the society to pursue higher education. Together with his medical team, they also visited deprived rural communities to provide free health care and educate them on various health-related issues. Currently, through his able leadership, an annual international conference dubbed Conquest Conference is held, which is targeted at refining and equipping corporate leaders, church workers, and believers for excellence in life and ministry. Emmanuel Adade is acknowledged in the Christian community as an apostle and a highly respected minister of the gospel. He has been an inexhaustible and exclusive preacher, mentor, conference speaker, author, and a philanthropist. He has trained and mentored many pastors and leaders across the globe. Furthermore, over the past two decades, he raised a lot of young entrepreneurs who are equally doing exploits in their various fields of endeavor. Imad Dade Outreach Ministries, EOM, headquartered in the United States of America, is an outreach ministry to change and impact the world through the dynamic power of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, consisting of preaching and teaching the gospel of Jesus Christ through conventions, crusades, revivals, and conferences. Many lives have been touched and blessed. At Imadade Outreach Ministry, EOM, his crafted vision has been possessing our possessions. Aside the EOM, which ministers to the spiritual needs of people, Emmanuel Adade established the Imadade International Foundation, EMIF, as a branch of Imadade Outreach Ministries, which has the objective of ministering and spreading the good news of salvation, as well as providing, as much as possible, some physical needs, such as clothing and food to the needy in our society. Another primary target of the foundation is to provide a livelihood for those who are ministered to at their crusades. A huge task placed on the hearts of the visionary leader, Apostle Emmanuel Adade, was to build a 50-acre free vocational training center called the City of Hope in Oboa, Sigana. To Emmanuel Adade, it was not enough to simply share God's love only in words. A complementary supportive system as the EMIF, by God's help and grace, seeks to fulfill this vision as given by God and even go beyond the expected by equipping those who are privileged with strength to work and take care of their basic needs. Apostle Emmanuel Adadi's books and CDs are products of his life's experiences, ministry encounters, and tutorials from life coaches, combined with knowledge from God's Word. They are seasonal messages carefully drafted to encourage, educate, and empower people to dare to live a fulfilled life, no matter the circumstances one finds him or herself in. Currently, he has five dynamic books to his credit dethroning satanic enthronements daily capsules advancing to your next level of life and ministry dress up for the occasion and his latest book the dressmaker you see christians church members wearing short dresses some of you you are even they get the it i'm asking myself so what is the point The world, listen, I'm not joking. Oh, I'm not joking. Oh, these things have negative effect on you. Yes, Lord. Be very careful. The world is gradually creeping into the church and taking us out of spirituality and sensibility. That you wear something that your breath is almost out, showing it. So, are you projecting for what? Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. When you go to TikTok, look at the message I'm preaching. Capture it. Send it to TikTok. Today, a global icon is gone. However, his deeds and works are there to prove 
how God can cherry pick the downtrodden and transform their lives to be a blessing to this nation and nations across the world. Apostle Emmanuel Adade, your impact is visibly known by most people who looked up to you for leadership and mentorship. Indeed, you came, you conquered, you saw, and you defeated mediocrity with the excellent act of service. You ran and you won the race. You fed the hungry and opened your doors to the less privileged. You inspired hope into the hopeless. You must become an embodiment of consecration and sanctification. That your life is a life without blemish. That you live a life of righteousness and become a perfect example to others. You are a shepherd. You are a sailor and a saint. You lived your life with meaning and transformed meaningless lives into meaningful giants. No wonder today you have ended well with your life of greatness. The world shall celebrate your exploits as a man who proved to the world that God chooses the foolish things of the world to confound the wise and the weak things of the world to confound the things that are mighty. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 27 In your physical absence, your light shall continue to shine to the world. Congratulations, great soldier of Christ. Your good deed shall follow you. Rest well, Apostle Emmanuel Atta Akwesi Adade. March on to glory, God's children. Shall we humbly take our seat? We give you all the glory. We worship you, our Lord. Oh, you give you we give you At this juncture, we will be taking the tributes by this sequence. First from the widow, second from the children, third from the family, and the fourth from the brothers and sisters. But before then, we have Reverend Samuel Ntibote representing Apostle Peter George Derry the CSE Missions Director. We also have in the house Prophet Samuel Addison also in the house. So ladies and gentlemen, we take the first tribute by the widow. With the hands please.
I bless God for what he has done. I met Apostle Emmanuel Adadi through a friend. Three months after getting married, we moved to Obuasi to start our missionary work. The church was named Glorious Zion Mission International. Establishing a new ministry in Obuasi then was not an easy task. As stated in the biography of Apostle Adadi Elion, our church organized a series of programs to win souls for Christ. By God's grace and guidance, we went through fire and water to establish DZMI. All our friends and families were in Kumasi by then, but we decided not to rely on anybody for help or go back to Kumasi, no matter how challenging the situation was. We stayed in our apartment without electricity for two years. But we had hope in the Lord that there will be light in the end of the tunnel. Kwesi was not just a husband, a friend, a father, a mother, and everything to me. Prayers became a hallmark of our lifestyle. When there was any mistake, misunderstanding between us, he will quickly apologize for peace to prevail in our home. What a humble gentleman and respectful husband Chrissy was. He always chose a dress for every occasion. No wonder that decorum brought about his book, Dress Up for the Occasion. I am glad I made the right choice among all the men who proposed marriage to me. I am blessed to have accepted Apostle Christian Tadade too as my lifetime husband. Because it was a gift bestowed on me by God. He was not just a husband. Your absence reminds me of how valuable a gift from God you are to me. You taught me how to be caring, sharing, loving, and God-fearing. You were always available to lend a helping hand to others. Indeed, your death means an important light is now turned off. Whenever there is tension in the house, you calm them come the situations with scriptures and your usual homo. What a peaceful head of our beautiful home. I am grateful to God for, the, for this excellent opportunity to share your life dreams. Your words of encouragement still echo in my ears. I uh, physically absent in my life. But your precious legacy still continues in my heart. You lived all your life in God's ministry. 
a dream you always wanted to fulfill. And your mission has been accomplished perfectly by dying on the Christ cross on that fateful day. You promise that you're going to travel with me and our children outside the country. Not knowing you are embarking on a journey of no return. Soldier of Christ, you have fought a good fight and won the grace. Kwesi, I miss you dearly. Kwesi, you will always remain in my heart. Kwesi, so we'll meet again. God bless you. Tribute by children. Throughout the years of our lives, we have never met a man who possesses multidimensional qualities. In one spell moment, he acted as a mother, a brother, and a sister. In another, as a biological father. He was more than our best friend. To those who saw him from afar as a preacher, whenever they drew closer, they saw a man with a tender heart. To those who had the opportunity to draw closer to him, with a selfless disposition, you made everyone feel equally loved and respected. We used to say, a man who uses please, I'm sorry, and thank you, as a father, is quite rare to find. You always told us that the best you could give us was God, good education, and good associates. You taught us to seek the Lord and his strength, seek his face continually. First Chronicles 16, verse 11. And we shall never forget that. We will always remember you for your loyalty and selflessness towards humanity, even when there was nothing beneficial for your sacrifices. You were our superhero, always knowing the exact word or words to use in answering every question. You were a very generous and humble servant of God, who sought the happiness of others over your own. Dad had a dream to make the house of God, a place where everyone could find peace and happiness, and to make Obwasi known, not only for its unique mineral gold, but also for its great leaders. Our father didn't tell us how to live our lives, but he lived. And made us watch his steps. That was an exemplary leadership from a good mentor. Dad, you were an ideal father to us. You did everything possible in your power to make us enjoy good education, a wonderful life, and sound biblical and social teachings. You were always there to guide us while also making sure we depended solely on God. 
Even though you led a modest life, you always tried to give us what we aspired for and asked for. We really looked up to you when it came to choosing the principles of life. You lived a life of commitment and sacrifice, and you showed us what it takes to be great parents. You gave us the greatest gift anyone could ever wish for in life, God. You were a blessed man because you trusted and hoped in God. And that is why you left us with the men of God who have given us the necessary training for the battles ahead of us. For this reason, we know that by God, we can leap over every wall because our guardian angel will always be with us. Conquest Conference will continue. Signs and tokens will continue. The city of hope will be built and the multi-purpose office block shall all be built unto God's glory. Your legacy can never die. We promise to make you proud. From afar, we know you are watching to spur us on to achieve great feats. We'll miss the tourism. It's for us seasons. We will miss going for those special walks with you, hearing your stories of your youthful days, going into your closet to take your clothes and perfumes, sharing your meat with us, and finally, being the arbitrator over our little misunderstandings and all the fun we had together. Ejata, Demi Fedri, Nantiye, may you rest in the bosom of Abraham, repose toy bien, al vidazien. Thank you. Praise the Lord. We thought we understood death. We thought we had shared in the pains of a lot of people who had lost their beloved. But your death has betrayed us, making us know that we didn't know what it meant to lose a beloved. A light from our household is gone. A voice we love is stilled. A place is vacant in our house that can never be filled. Today we stand here to mourn the passing of a beloved son, brother, nephew, uncle, father, and a grandfather. We are all weeping and hauling, not because we have so much strength to do so, but because the eye of our family has been plucked out. A man who took everybody's interests at heart, a man whose hands were widely opened to welcome any member of the family, a man who made his finances available in support of any member of the family when the need arose. A man who together with his elder brother was a covering for the family is finally gone. Indeed, we have lost a gem in our family. Atakwasi, as Mame affectionately called him, was a loving man who deeply loved all members of the family. In spite of his busy schedule, he was always present at family ceremonies such as naming ceremonies, marriage ceremonies, and funerals. Osofuata was a man who found his calling in his early life and stood by his conviction. As much as the family wanted him to pursue his gynecology ambition, he followed his 
calling with every strength that he had. And as such, committed himself to the Lord in his early days. He did not only impact the, the Christian values and ministerial ethics to only his church members, but also to the family. Together with his other brother, Bishop James Setcher, he ensured that all members of the family were living lives that were worthy of the gospel. Even though the family is predominantly members of the Church of Pentecost, his calling led him to start the glorious Zion Mission International. Indeed, the family was greatly proud and happy with what the Lord used him to do. He was a disciplinarian and instilled this attribute into members of the family. He took particular concern in the lives of the next generation of the family. He spent his resources and time to impact them. When Pakofi, his eldest nephew, got married, he rented a place in Obwase and invited him and his wife to come for their honeymoon. According to them, his ever welcoming wife, Ma Mercy, cooked homemade food for them for all the days they spent in Obwase. Any time in the morning when Ma visited, she made time to cancel and prayed with us as we began to start our family life. On the weekend of our, on our honeymoon, he arranged to take us to Anglo Gold Ashanti, the underground for an excursion together with Ma Mercy. This is a man that the family has lost. He and his elder brother took care of his twin sister and the kiss and ensured that materially they lacked nothing when she lost her husband. As the last born, Apostle Adade was very much close to his mother and he equally showed, shared this love with his mother. He did his very best to take good care of his mother. Today, Mami has lost such a precious son. One of the things that brought joy to Mami was to see Apostle Adade's face on the billboards in the city, especially for Science and Tokens Conference. Your nephews and nieces amidst other reasons, loved to partake in this conference because they enjoyed sitting under your ministrations. So now, you will not have that privilege of seeing your image on these billboards anymore. Signs and tokens would always bring fond memories of you, uncle. How about Conquest Conference? Kofi usually would come and show us the posters and play the video of services for us to watch as you preach at these conferences. So all these are things of the past now? Ah, oh, why are you not? Death, you have stolen our precious gem from us. Asofwata, you were one of the greatest inspiration, inspirational assets to us. You shared your life with us. The joy you brought to us will never end. And one day, we will be together again. Though we miss you, we know you are with Jesus and those who have gone on before us. Thank you for being a great inspiration to all of us. Mommy says, thank you. Your siblings say they are very grateful for your life and impact. Your nephews and nieces say, thank you, uncle. Your grandchildren are singing your praises. And all members of the family are saying thank you. 
But for mommy, or say, I know pay any emra who free mono. A wretched show or whole is an sending puppy bray a tran of one shea. Nana watch a dear name and a bosom in Temno. Oh, so she says, I was so called hospital. Nanka or Beffa Fun Afrono, or Bajan is to be a man. Uncle, a riding for see on the day of resurrection. Amen. Tribute by brothers and sisters. Each day we cry whenever we recall that we have lost a good brother, affectionately called Osofu Atta. Our brother, though the youngest, was such a shining example to us. Our children and all members of the extended family system. Our brother who together with his elder sister, brother, Bishop James Setcher, kept a stern eye on all of us to ensure that we lived lives worthy of the gospel. It was always a joy seeing how far the Lord has brought him. His short life is the kind that epitomizes what the Lord could do with a man who totally commits himself to him. We still cannot believe that you are gone, never to return. You were more than a brother to us. You were our friend, counselor, a true man of God. We will forever live to deal with the fact that you left without giving us the opportunity to say goodbye. Your life has taught us that it is not about how long one lives, but the quality of life lived. What is the use of our existence if it, is, it can transform another? We know that death is nothing more than a temporary period of being separated, so we are sure to reunite with you someday. Found memories of your genuine love, compassion and sacrifices will forever be treasured. You have always been our interest before yours and always found the means to lead a, lend a helping hand. You never say, said no to any of us. You always rose to the occasion. We could always count on you. We want to say thank you for praying, paying our children's fees. And thank you for providing shelter for us. Family meant everything to you. Despite your busy schedules, you always made time for our children naming ceremonies, weddings, and very important milestones in our lives. You shared our joys as well as our pains. You were a source of hope and inspiration to us and our children. Brother, we say thank you for your twin sister. He was the giant who protected him from predators from an early age whilst in school. He protected his sister from bad boys till they grew up and started their respective families. Even until the demise of the twin sister's husband, Osofwada this stood in family behind her twin sister, Osofwata, together with his bishop, his brother, Bishop Setre, took care of the twin sister and her children and made sure that she never lacked anything. To her, if death had knocked asking for someone, she would have gladly offered herself for her twin brother because he had a lot to offer to this world. Fare thee well, my twin. I pray my tears are able to clean the pain of your loss and bring in peace instead. For Obaya, you were always there for her family. You gladly supported the family when the need arose. Thank you for the indelible impression and impact on her children. Baby couldn't stay at the Easter convention when the news of your passing was finally broken to her. How? When, where, 
and several other questions ran through her mind. She could not hold the thought for a minute because there was no way you could leave us for eternity at this time. This year, our plan was to throw a party for mommy to enjoy herself. But your demise has turned things around. And oh, she is forever grateful for taking her two sons, Bafo and Junior, in when she was away seeking for greener pastures. You sowed godly seeds in them, and they have started bearing glorious fruits. How I wish you had stayed longer to witness what God would do with them. They have found the Father in you, and I wish you could have stayed a little longer to complete what you started. My heart aches because I'm still figuring out how I'm going to start from where you left off. Kwame Etuahine was equally thunderstruck to hear that you have passed away. He couldn't sustain his mood until he, when he arrived in Kumasi. The sight of, of him showed that very my and Mary, and when he, melt, he met the family in mourning of your passing. For your big brother, Bishop James, you have left him a huge tax to be able to hold the family like you helped him do. He wishes there was a way you reverse the news, but since there is not, this is not possible, he wishes you eternal peace. Rest well, Osafwata. Thank you for all you did for us. Please wrap your new wings around us as a family and let your angelic presence self-radiate through our pain. We already miss you, Osafwata. So it is true, huh? Oh. Rest well, General. Rest well, Osofu. Rest well, our dear brother. And thank you for all you did for us. God bless you all. Praise the Lord. We thank God for how far he has brought us. That was a tribute by the widow, children, family, and siblings as well. We're going to take a song ministration from our own household tripartite song ministers the, our legends our sisters our mamas our own daughters of glorious jesus then after we take the next session of tribute with the hands of our lord let's receive daughters of glorious jesus the Lord. It is well with our soul. Amen. Me jifun ke esi ni wu ye ho onwa onu kwa na ya tree ho siri ye ye fi sa
heart If he said what well, yeah I did can see what He brought him
You can do it better than you are doing. That was a song ministration by the daughters of Glorious Jesus. They have sung for more than 30 years. To me, I think if you want to be a great song minister and go far and fast, they are one of your syllables. Practically, they are one of your syllables. And then Uncle Fobebre. Yeah, Amen. We have in the house the founding father of Christian Hope Ministry International in the person of Archbishop Dr. Akwabua in the house. Papa, you are most welcome. Amen. We're going to take the next section of the tributes at this sequence. We're going to take first from the covenant brother of Apostle Emmanuel, the prophet Victor Kusibuatin, the father of the house, the Ephira Nemo. Then after him, we take from the glorious Zion mission of Boise and power churches. When we are done, Sisi Chum must get ready. Mama Sisi Chum is going to give us a very powerful song after this. Tributes. Amen. First Samuel chapter eighteen, verse three. Then Jonathan made a covenant with David because he loved him as his own soul. This is the only verse that adequately describes my relationship with the mortal remains of my brother and my friend. When people are mentioning the dealings of God in my life, many talk about material possessions and some talk about the giftings that God has given to me. Forgetting that the greatest thing that I ever had besides God was a good man by the name of Apostle Emmanuel Atta Adade. Yeah. Knowing you for 40 years seems bleak in comparison to the plans we had and the dreams we were yet to achieve you were full of love and life which almost like a disease infected me you were always there for my family and myself Atakwesi Malam my brother me Meaning in fear, be an iron and tin, you know. Young Tanassian can't seem to be unkind and tell my son. And we are seeing we are there more than any papa. 
na me de nyankopon de ba ko che me na wa jini ntim sei atawa mama ye mobo atawa mama ye mobo our children and our wives have been asking me questions that only you could answer the power churches and glorious zion have inquisitions i have no reply to i wish i could tell them even as we are gathered here today that it was a proof but unfortunately here lies the reality of your mortal body but i refuse to dwell on the loss i personally have acquired i refuse to be selfish and so i will want to take this opportunity to say congratulations to the heavens for having a spotless angel who walked amongst us as a man. One day, we will meet again when God calls us all home. This is what I personally take consolation in. And here I promise to continue making you proud in the hope that our friendship and our brotherhood will never have been in vain. Rest easy, my covenant brother. And know you have left a legacy. Our love for you, the proof of it. Thank you. A lot have been happening for the past weeks. We have various reports. We have our project reports, our financial reports, our family reports, even the children ministry reports. But who do we submit them to? That Friday, that Good Friday indeed, has taken something good from us as a church and a family. The light on our hill is vague. The position of the light has been tilted to an angle which we cannot be refixed. Our torchbearer is gone. Oh, 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 why not, dear? Our teeth are set on the edge as enough words put together, together in describing our pathfinder, a visionary leader, and our generational thinker are virtually misplaced. Our father, Apostle Emmanuel Adade, is gone. Even as we stand here, we are being forced to believe what is still unbelievable. Papa, as we affectionately called him, was an embodiment of a resolute leader per excellence. 
He led and guided the Jiziyama family to accomplish great tasks in his lifetime. Indeed, the world has lost a rare kingdom general, a model of character and excellence who moved a city and a nation towards God. Born in the 70s, a boy whose dream was to become a gynecologist would emerge as the one to change the status quo of his entire family. You and your lovely wife, after prayerful consideration, relocated to Obuasi to start a ministry when there was an opportunity to start a ministry in London. You both obeyed the voice of God like Abraham and walk into your new assignment in Obuasi. Eja was a man who earned his place in the kingdom through prayer, self-discipline, integrity, and faith. He was a father and a friend to all and gave a listening ear as if he had no personal worries. He was a true reflection of fact non verba, deeds, not words. It's with this power of action that we prepared him to start prayer meetings at Obuasi Golf Park, the 10 programs at Salvation Army School, and the Manis Dinner, where hundreds of people gathered together to have an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amazingly, through your consistency and persistency and your vision and leadership, the construction of the glorious dome as a place of worship was completed. Papa's faith in God was on flexion. He trusted God for everyday provision. Like he would say, we will not borrow money from any bank, but the work of God will go on. True to his words, the church was built to the glory of God without going to any bank for financial assistance. Apostle Adadi led people to Christ from obscurity into prominence. Ah, Papa. Your thirst for God's business was infectious. And we promise to continue your legacy. The founding members of Jesus and my family recount how our father showed self-discipline and exemplary lifestyle even as a young man. Papa, the Sunday school children will miss the toughest you give them. The prayers you prayed for them. The GZMA family will forever remember the spirit of excellence you carried and your advice. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you know. God's work must be done, properly done, and well executed. Papa, you didn't only teach us about servant leadership, hard work, living an excellent life, but you also taught us about rolling our sleeves and getting dirty till our assignments were completed. In other words, you saw leadership as service and not occupying positions. Papa was a selfless man who believed the church family setting was his immediate family and inheritance. As a great leader, he was practically there for the flock of God and the people of Obuasi. In the heat of redundancy and the suspension of production at the Angry God Ashanti Obuasi Mines, you suspended all your visas and international appointments in order to stay with the people and to pray for the coming back of the city of Obuasi. You sacrificed your resources, especially your time in inspiring hope in the lives of people who lost their jobs in those difficult moments. 
what a man what a man of god we couldn't have asked for a better pastor and a father like you papa thank you for bringing the liberating truth of the gospel of our lord jesus christ deliverance and hope and life to the immediate needs of the people who are oppressed rejected abandoned forsaken and marginalized through your unusual life situations such inspiring messages and financial support systems have helped countless numbers of people to possess their rightly possessions wow what a great leader we promise to carry on the vision of GZMI. After our fathers is laid to rest, we have returned to our cities and our churches and rejoined our daily routines. Let us search for the strength and the largeness of his spirit when the enemy whispers in our ears and when our best laid plans seem beyond our reach let us all remember and think of apostle emmanuel Dade, whose works and the words that he left with us still live with us papa you have left an enormous void in our hearts as a church and as a family your work will forever be mixed words are not enough to capture our father's life and what he has done for us as a family as a church and humanity what a magnificent soul he was papa gzmi will miss you deeply may god continue to keep you in his bosom till we meet again rest well our father our friend and our founder. Rest well, our pathfinder, our pace setter, and our covering. Rest well, our shepherd, our prophet, our trusted teacher, and the pastor. Rest well, Aja Daye. God bless you. That was a tribute by the covenant brother of Apostle Emmanuel, Prophet Kusi Boatin, and Glorious Zion Mission of Boasi. Because we already have been read to by the power churches worldwide last Thursday, we will proceed to take a song from but before then if you have any wrath please the next one minute if you have any wrath you can kindly rise and come and put it here for us if you have any wrath by loved ones by family by church if there are no other red like that we continue Se o wo bibia ni a ye de to na no so ye fe ne ret na obetumi di abeto ha ansan ya to aso okay okay we take a song from sisi chum so ladies and gentlemen a hand of applause for Minister Sisi Chung. Oh, can you please let's make it happen for her?
Fire! Ah! 
Santi every year at the American convention. So because of my good relationship with him, when his mom died, I attended the funeral. And then the great man of God was introduced at that day at the funeral to preach. I sat down, a man of God though, listening to him preached, I said, wow. Wan Kenya Miasem and this is the same man to preach to us at this ceremony or barrier service I have known him for years I've known the wife and we did PhD together with the wife so she's like a mother a senior sister to me preaching to us this morning is the general overseer for Center for Christian Outreach Ministries. Ladies and gentlemen, as we rise to our feet, Reverend Dr. Douglas Okuna Frimpon. With the hands of praise, let's also add a shout and receive God's heaven. Thank you very much. Uh, God bless you. You may be seated, please. Fellow ministers of the gospel, Nananum, honorable ministers of state here present, honorable members of parliament, the CEO of the National Cathedral and the person of Dr. Opoku Mensa. Members of the Board of Trustees of the National Cathedral of Ghana. Special invited guests. Those of you who are watching this memorial service live on Facebook and other platforms bereaved family members of the late Apostle Emmanuel Atakwesi Adade. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, 
I count it a singular privilege giving me to give a short exhortation looking at the time that we have at our disposal at this special memorial service of our beloved, the late Apostle Emmanuel Atakwe Siadade, founder and general overseer of the Glorious Zion Mission International. My first encounter with the diseased was a few years back, less than uh, uh, about, about, about 10 years, yes, to be precise. But my last encounter with him was about two years ago. Uh, he recommended someone to me to serve in our ministry. And there was a hiccup. And so I called him. And he came to my office. And when I shared what happened with the worker he recommended to me, and then knowing the background of the whole story, he went down on his knees and apologized for that worker who came to work with me and said he's sorry that he commended somebody who came to the ministry to cause some commotion. That really touched my life. And that's the life of a person who has humility. He's not only humble, but he, he was a very, very dedicated man of God, especially to the things of God. He always wore a smile. And his selfless commitment to the welfare of others, we can all read from the tributes that others have written in his honor. And we cannot overemphasize the positive impact his full life here on earth has had on all of us. And those of us who had the privilege to be here on Thursday night, it was a joy to be here, to hear all the tributes that came from men and women who had the privilege to interact with him. Because of our time, I would like to be very, very brief. And I want to take for my test this morning Psalm 90 and the first 12 verses. Psalm 30 and the first 12 verses. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, however you had formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn man to destruction and say, return, O children of men. For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday, when it is past, and like a watch in the night. You carry them away like flood. They are like a sheep. In the morning, they are like grass which grows up. In the evening, it flourishes and grows, and grows up. And in the evening, it is cut down and withers. For we have been Consumed by your anger and by your wrath, we are terrified. You have set our iniquities before you, our secret sins in the light of your countenance. For all our days have passed away in your wrath. We finish our years like a sign. The days of our lives are 70 years. And if by reason of strength, they are 80 years. Yet their boast is only labor and sorrow. For it is soon cut off and we fly away. 
Who knows the power of your, of your anger? For as the fear of you, so is your wrath. So teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. So teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Let's have a word of prayer. Father, we thank you. And we praise you for the life of your dear son, the late Apostle Emmanuel Akwesi Atakwesi Adade. That you loan to us as a family, as a church, and as friends for a while. And we thank you that we have the privilege to be at this memorial service to hear all about his life and how he made a positive impact in the, in the world. We pray that you speak to us in a very special way. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Psalm 100, Psalm 90 was written by Moses and centers on the brevity of life and the stewardship of the time that God has given to us to be here on earth. Our focus this morning at this memorial service is to revisit a subject that I touched on a couple of months ago. Psalm 90 begins with what we call Sabbath songs and is meant for public worship. The Sabbath songs are Psalm 90, Psalm 91, 92, 93, up to Psalm 94. And in meditating upon the brevity of life and upon human frailty, Moses captures life to be like grass that withers, a sudden flash of flood, and a sleep with no awareness of time. Because of man's sin, Psalm 90 and verse 7 and to the 9 shows us that God has shortened his time for man's time on earth at least twice. The early days of man averaged hundreds of years. Seth, for example, in Genesis chapter 5 and verse 8, lived for 912 years. You heard it right, 912 years. It was a man like you and I. But he lived for 912 years. Canaan, in Genesis chapter 6 and verse 14, also lived for 910 years. Methuselah lived for 969 years. And we read that in Genesis chapter 5 and verse 17. Now, after the flood, however, God shortens man's life. And Moses said, our years are about 120. Our life was shortened to 120. That's in Genesis chapter 6 and verse 3. When we reach the time that is represented in this time, Moses wrote and said, man's years... It's about 70, or by nature of strength, 80 years. In James chapter 4, and verse 13 to 16, the final word recorded about man's life is that man's life is like a vapor with no guarantee as to the number of his days. Therefore, it is very, very critical 
that we allow God to teach us to manage well the brief time we have here on earth. And that's why Moses is saying, so teach us to number our days. Moses was not saying, God, teach us to number our years. He didn't even say, teach us to number our months. But he said, teach us to number our days. Meaning that we should look at thy life on a daily basis. Because I believe a lot of people have questions. Such a great man of God, why should he die at the age of 52? When we talk about life, we are not talking about how long you live on earth. But we are talking about the impact you have made on the lives of other people. And I believe our brother, Apostle Emmanuel Atakwesi Adade has made a positive impact, not only at Obuasi in Kumasi and Ghana, but he also made a global impact. And we are thankful to God for his life. As we talk about life, we are talking about a full life, whether you have lived a full life and done the will of God and affected your generation. And I believe he has. Let's give a clap offering to Jesus. He, I believe he has. I took my time to do a little research. I was trying to define life. As a good literature student, I took my dictionary and try to look at the different meanings they give to life. Because of time, I will not bore you with my research. But I realized that some dictionaries define life as the union of the soul and the body. But I also realized that this is true with humans, but definitely not true with plant life. So the definition is incomplete. Another definition also said, life is the state of being alive. And we all know that that is true, but it's a very ambiguous definition. Another dictionary said, the period Life is the period between birth and death. And all mothers and medical doctors and gynecologists, we know that the fetus have life. Babies in the womb of women, all the women here, mothers, they know that the, the children kick. And so that definition is still not true. Know that we can go on and on and on and on. I want you to go and do your own research. The fact is that life is very, very difficult to define. It's very difficult to define. Why? Because the fact is that life is a trust. Life is a loan from God. For a short period of time. The life here we have on earth. Is a short period. That God has loaned to us. And when. And he has sitting at your tea. As a trading. As a trading. When you be a casa se siya. When you need to be a casa A dear betche. Over to you say. We're free Oh, Debbie, that guy was full of life. I saw him yesterday. We had a long chat. That is life. It's very difficult to define. It's a trust. It's like putting your money at the bank. The bank managers may be counting all the money. They have all the strong rooms and they have all the money there. But the money there is not theirs. They are only managing the resources of others. And so people can come there and take the money anytime. 
And that's why they give you a loan. They need a collateral. Or they have to check you out and know that you are creditworthy. So that those who have them, who own the money, anytime they come and make a demand on them, they will be able to give them back their money. So life is a trust. It's a loan God has given to us. It's in Kwani Abrabona Nyamidi Amayeno. Or the Afemye. Apostle Adadi, Nyamidi Nifem Neyiri. Or the Nifem Nemami. Or the Nifem Nema. Or the Nifem Nasafu. A brassunti. Wafreno. That's what life is all about. And doesn't matter how long. The issue is whether you have lived a full life. Job 14 and verse 1 says, Man born of a woman is of a few days. The brevity of man's life is aptly described by James, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, as vapor in James chapter 4, verse 13 to 15. There's a cemetery with a very interesting signpost at the entrance and at the exit. The entrance signpost says that yesterday you were like us. Yesterday we were like you. A brochure baby, a musiano, one the sign boot, sign push up a boho. Say, Oo, Remoa, sign post in the actual, so say, and rap, near you would the hanging and yet so. Oo, Pia, there's another sign post that says, Tomorrow you will be like us. Oo, Pia, sign boot about her and say, Hotchena, who's who be with you say. We come to a memorial service like this and we put the casket right in front of all of us. Why do we do that? Why do we have a memorial service? This service is not meant for apostle, the late apostle Adade. This service, this memorial service is for you and I that this is the end of man. And so we put a casket at the full view of everybody to let you know that this is the end road of every man or woman born into this earth. It's alone. It's alone. Hallelujah. Life is like a dream. Psalm 73 and verse 20. And how long is a dream? As a, as, a, as a young Christian, I read a book. I've never forgotten that book. A certain man dreamt. He was in his, in his bed. And you know, my father used to have one of these pendulums. It's an old watch. He had one. And he started con, 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 three times. And then he fell asleep and dreamt. He dreamt about his whole life. His infancy. His basic school. High school and tertiary school education. His specialization to become a medical doctor. His maritime family life. And all in one dream. Then he suddenly woke up. He dreamt that he was born as a toddler. He grew up, went to primary basic education, continued in high school, went to the tertiary education, he specialized, became a, a medical doctor practiced for a while, got married, had children, all in one dream. Then when he woke up, he heard the last stroke on his pendulum. Came, and he thought it was about 3 o'clock or 4 a.m. When you look at the watch, that was the last stroke of midnight. 
Meaning that the dream was just a few seconds. Richard says that a dream may last for maybe a long dream, five minutes, seven minutes. That's it. So when the Bible says that life is like a dream, it's brief. Life is brief. Life is not only like a shadow. It's not only like a dream. Because you see, a dream is short and it's brief. Life is also like a shadow. A shadow is a poor imitation of the real thing. And that is what life is all about. The Bible says that life is like a tale that is told. That is Psalm 90 and verse 9. So life is brief. So brethren, let's take it easy. I like the philosophy of the Apostle Paul. In Philippians chapter 1 and verse 21, he says something. He said, as for me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. To me, to live is Christ. Life is about serving Christ, doing God's will. And I believe that's exactly what Apostle Atakwesia Dade has done. Serving his generation according to the will of God before dying. In Philippians 1.21, the Apostle Paul makes a very profound statement which in no uncertain terms gives us a clue of his philosophy of life and death. To him to live is to honor Christ and to fulfill his God-given assignment or purpose in life. Solomon, the wisest man that ever lived, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, summarized life on earth this way. That's the Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Verse 13 to 14. He said, let us hear the conclusion of the matter. Fear God. And obey his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For God will bring every work into judgment. Including every secret thing. Whether good or or evil. Solomon was the wisest man that ever lived on earth. Solomon is the that's the whole duty of man. Some of us boast in our wealth. Some of us boast with the letters behind our names. And it's good to study. I'm a bookworm. Yes. You ask my wife, she will tell you. There's books everywhere. In my bedroom, in my, my living room, everywhere. I have books there. I read. But that's not the issue. Life is sometimes saddened by the fact that it must end sooner or later unless Jesus returns to rapture us. Death is universal. And it's the departure or cessation of life. Death vintage is so stark and grim. Its presence without Christ is so dark and dreaded. In his wake are oceans of heartaches and rivers of tears. It's a separation of the body, soul, and spirit. 
The body goes to the grave and disintegrates. The spirit goes, to, goes back to God, its creator. And the soul goes to one of two places. Either it goes to hell, as said in Luke chapter 16, verse 3, or it goes to paradise, Abraham's bosom. Luke chapter 16 and verse 22. Now, why did the Apostle Paul say that to him, death is gain? What do we gain by death? Because of our time, I'll just give you four things to consider. Number one. When we die, we gain a better body. You are. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it is as I said, on did you know no 36 of them every day. But thank God, our brother, Apostle Emmanuel Atta, Atta Kwesi Adade, now that he has left this mortal body, and knowing surely what he had done for God, and living and dedicating and committing selfless his life to God, I know that God has, is going to give him a glorious body. <laughs> this is our hope as believers. This is our hope. And that's why we don't fear that I tell my wife, if I go and minister somewhere and do not come back, please, immediately after the service, look through when we are having the memorial service. There are a lot of pastors, anointed ones. You can get married to any one of them. Don't wait for a year. Immediately I die, the contract is dead. And if I don't come back, look for a good, handsome, God-fearing man and marry him. And Mrs. Zadadi, let me say this. This is a bad time for you because this is a morning time. But let me tell you, you are young and beautiful. Now the contract, married contract between you and Apostle Emmanuel Atakwesi Adade is finished. You are free under God to marry. 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 You are free under God to I'm a Bible student and I believe in scripture. And the Bible says that the marriage is cancelled and comes to an end after one of the partners dies. And so the person is free to marry. And pastors, let's teach scripture. Let's teach what the Bible is saying. Yaunti enfienum adene enfienum bre nyamese wade ohun. Paul said, I don't feel any media man and my unfair home question. Quasum BM. So you are free to marry. We gain a better body. In this body of clay, we are subject to all sorrows and tears that life has for us. Age, sickness. And finally, death are the inevitable accomplishment of this house made of dust of the ground. We may experience divine healing and divine health. And I'm a good preacher who believes in divine healing. I've seen at least two people born blind that God healed. And I wear glasses. In Kumasi, I'm taking off glasses from people and clutching from people. But I didn't do it. Jesus did it. 
this body of clay has a time period. And whether we have divine healing or divine health, there will come a day when we have to close our eyes in death like Apostle has done. This is a reality. It's a reality all of us faith preachers must embrace. One that can never grow old, no disease or suffer pain, and can never die. There's no one like that. So, we have a better body when we die. Again, we have a better home. John 14, 1 to 3, Jesus said, he's going, and then he will come and take us, and where he is, there we will be also. He's going to prepare a place for us. I've been in homes, and you wish you lived there. Beautiful homes. Well decorated. But there is no home like the home that you and I will go after we pass on. The Bible says that the, the streets of heaven are made of gold. Nobody, nobody will put enough resources in the road that leads to his house more than the house itself. And if we walk on gold, the streets of heaven, if they are of gold, you can just imagine that place that Jesus is preparing for us. Let's give a clap offering to Jesus. We gain a better body. We gain a better home. We gain a better inheritance. A better inheritance. Many times, what I have realized from my own experience, my father was a very rich person very very rich so I came from a very rich family when he died my uncle if you go to the fountain line it's your uncle if you go to the fountain line it's your uncle but if you come to a sante oh papa come on why you hear me I had a scholarship at school but why you hear me Oh, mommy, transport me to school. That's it. At and Pabo, me, mommy, and to mommy. My papa jammed me 20 acre cocoa farm in his will. They destroyed the will. They never gave it to me. But God took care of me. We have a better inheritance. So, so far, we say, say, but in some churches, when the founder dies, it becomes scramble for Africa. People do all kinds of things. City of hope or yeno. Asafumani asafum penyfoni asofu akano or bet tie or ban on a sofo nechi amo to me aye. Ya preja padiao. But remember, this is the end of man. On Febi Bianco. So support the leadership of the church and make sure that the legacy that he has left behind is realized. Because we have a better inheritance up there. And finally, we have a better fellowship. To most of us, our mothers are gone because we are old. To most of us, our fathers are gone. To some of us, our children are gone. Or our beloved grandparents are all gone. Friends and colleagues are gone. And the list may be endless. And if we live long enough, we shall be strangers on this earth. Everyone we knew and loved will be gone. But the circle is unbroken in heaven forever and ever. There is no death in heaven. And so let's remember that we shall meet Apostle Emmanuel Kwesiadade again. What he has done now is that he has relocated. He has changed his earthly address. He's no longer here on earth, 
but he's still alive in the presence of God. And there's a better fellowship. And so if you have lost a husband, sister, you've lost him, but you will see him again. Children, you will see your father again. Those of us who have lost our friends, our grandparents, our mothers and fathers, we will see them again. Only on one condition. Only on one condition. At the rapture, those who are dead will rise first. Those of us who are alive, the Bible says, will be transformed in a twinkling of an eye and meet Christ in the air. And then we shall be with him forever. So there is a fellowship up there. After the rapture, everyone who has come to faith in the Lord Jesus Christ that we have lost, whether husband or brother or child or wife, there's a big fellowship that's going to come up there. And that's a better fellowship. So we have a better home. We have a better body. We have a better inheritance. And we have a better fellowship. And so that's the reason why Paul says, let's comfort ourselves with these words. This morning, before I sit down, one most important thing that we can all do to honor Apostle Emmanuel Atakwe Siadade is for those of us who are family members who do not know Jesus personally as Savior. Friends who do not know Jesus personally as Savior. Relatives who do not know Jesus personally as Savior. Anyone here that hears the, the sound of my voice, if you do not know Jesus personally as Savior, this is the time for you to give your life to Christ. You can honor our brother by saying at his memorial service, I gave my life to Jesus Christ. I want us to close our eyes and I want us to pray. What you ready as him? Now can I say, me jitu misa me yadiboni you ready for me boni chemi? And then me person me fall say me you ready majungu. Me person me transfer my own name sumu. So sani umpa ba baby outi bi me person oma onse ni fanu so koso na me ne wo ebo empire. You have heard the message. You are here this morning. And what you are saying, your prayer is that Lord, I agree, I accept the Father I'm a sinner. Please forgive my sins. I open up my heart to you. Come into my heart. Be the Lord and Savior of my life. I want to save you for the rest of my life. If this is your prayer, please just raise your right hand and I want to pray with you. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, how person do home ready is who ready is to say who ran away Jim Kwan. I would transfer man. Senior Apostle Transfer Man. We ne and ne Domwa. If you mean me, I need a chi chi near Bruchin in Abaha. He lived a full life and he lived a very effective and impactful life. All because he gave his life to Jesus. Oh, aha. Now, person do home a radia. Mount Sandy Fanaso Cosso. Namino and Mompire. A radin shroud. A radin shroud. Also a radin shroud. Also a radin shroud. Pacho Bompire Dimechi. Cassel Radi Yusu. Medawasi. So who are saying the answer, Mammy? And then we do to me, Zambia de Boyeni. Fami Bonichem. Brahma Kumem. Nabidima Brabosu. Bazam Transiman. Namiso Menqua Daya Kenyana. Medawasu Adia Kessia Waya Mammy. Who is Christo Dim. Amen. Father, we thank you for your word. And we thank you for people who have given their lives to you. We thank you for the full life that Apostle Emmanuel Atakwesia Dade lived here on earth. The impact, the positive impact he had on his family, he had on his church, he had on his friends, and he had on our world. We pray that we'll be able to do the same even as we walk daily with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bon Emma Jesus. That was a good word. Thank you so much, Reverend Dr. Douglas Okuna Frempon. We are grateful for brevity of time.
uh, we're going to take our offering then after Reverend Dr. Steve Asante will come and lead us to pray for the family. Then we take our benediction. And you know, baby, I had to see a baby offering. Quano, when you're ready, your G and offering, we are in the presence of God. So strategically position all the offering stands so that we take our offering for this ceremony. And praying over the offering is Bishop Dr. Divan Ejin. Sir, come and pray over the offering. Shall we please take our offering, rise to your feet as we offer prayer over the offering. Are we rising? Yeah. Shall we please rise to our feet? Uh, lift your offering and let's pray over it. Holy Father, we are grateful to you for this privilege to give. For believers, giving is living. We pray that whoever gives in accordance to your word, you open heaven and bless his life. Let whatever we give go a long way in supporting a good cause. Let your name be glorified. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Please take your seat as we take a song Then we taking offering.
call upon Reverend Dr. Steve Asante, the past president of Ghana Baptist Convention, to lead us to pray for the widow and family. Amen. Yo, quickly, your point, your enter, your beshe benediction. Bishop George Kinsley Amwako, you're ready. Na wa beshira ya na ya di osumu abere ya. Na me boy and kaya se ya huye ya na no ya be ma emuno so na ya di eura hesinum na ya di ako chronom abuwe hiya cemetery. Ya kosi na ano ebusi anso so etnase ewo. Quad that's what be possible school honomo it in it's a open set or call baby na be away ye be na be being tea unto me me and cocoa that's what be possible school ho and cobonsa ya set it table a wenimo honomoa utu me a bonsano na abua sika some de a yam in town can a brofo and intina make canny tree said ya bea obete as ye ka ame mame. And those of you who are watching us live and who are here and who, who don't understand our local language, what I was saying was that we have set a table just from there. If you want or you have any donation to give to support this funeral and also to honor Apostle, they are ready out there at the entrance on the extreme left. You can go there and just get your donation 
to them and so that God will bless and also we're going to have the final funeral ride at the Quadaso Biposo funeral ground Mr. Rao, if you don't know the location you can ask it is a very close place from almost about 10 minutes drive from this side so that is the final announcement and that tomorrow morning 8 a.m going to have a thanksgiving service here in this same auditorium we're going to have a thanksgiving service here 8 a.m sharp then after the thanksgiving we go back to the quadaso funeral ground for quadaso be possible funeral ground to have the second phase of the funeral and then tomorrow's week 28 of the month of may we're going to have a special special thanksgiving service in honor of apostle general uh emmanuel Dade in the city of gold of Boise, our glorious zion mission international the yensha nonson those watching us live uh on facebook or any social media handle please media can you project every other details anybody can donate online or electronically so that it would all the same be a blessing to us all pastors apostles bishops uh, reverend ministers pastors prophets evangelists apostolic nuncios and so forth and so forth prophet victor the father of the house will be meeting all of us at the fourth floor of the totally complex uh, office complex here just from the entrance you see a story building at the fourth floor there is an elevator that will take you there you don't need to walk so just march and then go there there is a short meeting and an information that needs to be relayed to you god bless you amen so ladies and gentlemen this is how far the lord has brought us and we thank god for a successful memorial service to apostle Imanada. so we may kindly rise to our feet as i call to the altar bishop george kinsley amwako to pray and then share benediction with us shall we bow down our heads our father this has been unto you the testimony has been strong your witness has been outstanding We have had an idea how you handle your faithfuls. And that gives us a glimpse of what is going to happen in eternity. I pray that the lesson that has run through these services, this event, will never be lost on anyone. May we run home with it. And may we all be encouraged in the good work that grace has enabled us to pursue until this time. For you are a faithful God. You are a good God. And you know how to take care of your own. I pray that you bless everyone who has in one way or the other made a commitment or a contribution for the success of this funeral. And I pray again that what separates the world from us, divine energy, will be released upon us until this funeral comes to a very successful end. May it never elude us the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding, the peace. Let it prevail. 
as a mark of the exit of your own. Do this for us, dear Lord. And the honor will always return to you. I pray again for everyone who has traveled by reason of this funeral. Return all home safely in the name of Jesus. We thank you for hearing us. To you alone be all glory, all honor, and all adoration. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. And shall we at this time all share in the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Remain blessed. Please, let's remain standing um, until they have taken the coffin out. Please, let's remain standing. So, just to re-echo the announcement. whispered peace be thine then he took you up to heaven so gentle and so kind God looked around his garden and he found an empty place then he looked down upon the earth and he saw your precious face he put his arm around you and he lifted you to rest God's garden must be beautiful he always takes the best oh God's garden must be beautiful he always takes the best Bishops, bishops, apostles, reverend minister, please, as they take the coffin, please you follow orderly and decently. The Methodist bishop of Obuasi Diocese, Bishop Dr. Bavo Asamoeche, you are most welcome. Let us see. Let us see. 